Attention. Attention. Hi, have I got your attention? Great. Hey, this is Steve Ag. Hey, did you know I have a podcast here on Feral Audio? It's called Steve Ag. Uh, of course you didn't, because they never advertise it. I don't know if you haven't noticed this or not, but uh, lately Feral's been doing a lot of advertising of all their new podcasts, which is great. There's some really great podcasts, but there's also a lot of really great podcasts that have been around since the beginning, like mine. Uh. That's right. I've had a podcast here. I've done almost 80 episodes, you guys. I've had guests like Juliette Lewis, Weird Al Yankovic, Liam Lynch, Diablo Cody, Kamel Nanjiani, Rich Fulcher, Phil Lamar, Adam Goldberg, Mikey Schumann, and Troy Van Leeuwen from Queens of the Stone Age. Guys, the list goes on. You should give my podcast a listen. I'm sorry, does anybody else hear that dripping? Hi, it's Dan Harmon. If you're like me, you're a big fan of Harmontown, the podcast, uh, and you wish that you didn't have to wait uh, so long for it to drop after we record it. But here's the thing. Jeff Spencer, take it. You do not have to wait. You can, you can not only hear it right after it happens, you can watch it, too, in delicious, deluxe, high-definition multicam on your browser or your mobile phone. We do edit some stuff out sometimes. Like, I'll say something so incredibly racist uh, that we will catch it right before it drops as a podcast. Uh, but or, you get to watch Dan right before the sedition hearing when he talks shit about Trump again. Right. Uh, sometimes and, we have really famous guests, but we just cut it out of the podcast entirely. Because it turns out they're pedophiles. Sometimes Spencer's never wearing a shirt <laughs> most of the time we put that in in post not to mention all the times you always hear people laughing at something that doesn't sound funny because someone is making a funny face or wearing a funny shirt yeah for five bucks you get to watch all that stuff we, you, you can see the weirdos sitting down like getting nervous on camera there's, there's like one camera that's just right up someone's nose and they're always picking their nose and stuff like that that's good as if that wasn't enough here's some political incentive um we will match your new subscription to the harmontown live feed uh up until april 15th the day of the big tax march, um, we'll match it with a donation to the ACLU. Which stands for a clue, which is what you should get. And I know, I know, you're, I know that's triggering your thought of going, doesn't the ACLU now have $800 million? Because, uh, uh, but here's the thing. ACLU money is like toilet paper money. Uh, it never expires. But if political encouragement weren't enough, some apolitical encouragement is if you sign up, you get access to a year and a half of our back catalog of video episodes, including the tour in Australia and Harmon Country, as well as audio downloads on the night of the record, on just minutes after it airs. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times have you been listening to Harmon Town for free after Wednesday and thought, I would really want to know what that guy looks like or what she looks like? Or I want to see exactly how uncomfortable the audience is when Adam Goldberg is on stage. Mm -hmm. Now, for $5 a month, you get to see it as well as hear it. You can almost taste the Harmontown. Go to harmontown.com slash live for your subscription to watch us as well as hear us. It really, really is a taste treat. <laughs> <laughs> Dan gave me little 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 eyebrows. I like I, I was like, holy shit, that guy just hit the bullseye. <laughs> really has a taste treat. Feral audio. Maybe some of you will recognize this song. Yeah. This is Nightblade by Nick Seatman. There we go. Pump it up, Dustin. From the ridiculously beautiful Sydney Opera House in New South Wales, Sydney, Australia, Harmontown is now in session. Please welcome to the stage Spencer Crittenden. Let's welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon! Thank you, Sydney. So kind, you're so kind. 
They're the kind, uh, you know, Sydney is the uh, kindest uh, city in Australia. Did you know that? Is that right? It's the capital of the kindest state. We're in uh, South Wales. <laughs> New South Wales? Yeah, yeah. yeah. New South yeah. Wales. This ain't, this ain't your grandma's South Wales. No. <laughs> Fuck South Wales. That shit's in England somewhere. Uh, this is. It might be in Wales. <laughs> I, he looked at a map while I was in the hat store. <laughs> Uh, is, is your mic loud enough? I had, I had them turn mine up. Do you I happy? don't know. I, well, I, mine, mine has been, my, my volume's going, I don't know. I'm what in an about opera mine? house. I okay. don't know. Yeah, that's good. Great. Okay. A little, little, little louder for Dan's, all right? Yeah. yeah. Let's get a little okay. bit more Dan. Uh, check one. <laughs> Sydney, Sydney, check two. Sydney. You know what they call them? They call them Sydney ciders. Did you know that? That's, that's they call what they call Sydney people from Sydney. Sydney ciders? Sydney ciders. Oh, like on the side of Sydney. Because I... What? Now let, let's talk about your <laughs> let's talk about your new uh, your new lid there, man. I like it a lot. Is that, is that a proper Akubra, whatever they call this it? This is an a, a authentic Akubra. <laughs> well, I got I, I, it on the I, store I, next to the hotel. <laughs> there were there were rabbits uh, drying on the rack, and uh, there were there were six of them that went into this one, so I know it's authentic. We did they have uh, did they have boomerangs there? Uh, yeah, but they were mounted. Oh, so it's like. Yeah. You couldn't hurt people with them. Yeah, they're like, As for, they're like to put on your desk, like, right. like uh, the buck stops here, but but then it then it, then it goes it away and back. then it comes yeah. back again. Uh, yeah, so we're here. We're here at the Sydney Opera House, the historic Sydney Opera House. I, you know, I'm, I do not feel bad about this. I'm very happy to be here, but I will say I was narcissistic and naive enough to believe when they said come to a show at the Sydney Opera House. I thought, I didn't know they had other rooms. <laughs> yeah. It makes perfect sense now. And I love you guys. You're amazing. I'm not going to punish you, but I did fly out here <laughs> with a different image in my head. One that makes no sense. No sense. <laughs> the fact that not only could we fill the Sydney Opera House, but two nights. Yeah, I know. They're like, you saw it. They want to do a second show at the Sydney. Really? Oh, bring it on. I, I guess it's just cultural efficacy. It just, they, they must be bored down there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm not being aloof. I'm just looking at my notes. I, uh, Are those authentic crocodile teeth in the, in the brim of that hat? I, I don't know. I, they're, they're, they're teeth. I mean, I don't know, man. It's, it's a $65 hat. That's all I know. 65 Australian dollars. Are they dollars or are they called boomos? Dollary. <laughs> I think they're called dollary dues, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you were about to say a guy, a guy at the Melbourne show. Because yeah, we, we, we started, we kicked off in Brisbane a couple nights ago. And uh, shit went wild. The, that, that crowd was raucous, to say the least. They were just fighting with each other. They're, they're just booing each they other. They were having focus groups in the back. People yeah. were, they were just saying like, oh, that's a, that was a good joke. What did you think of that joke? It was okay. I don't know. Let's listen to the next joke. I don't know. I'd rather discuss this joke. <laughs> You're from Ipswich? Fuck you! <laughs> Uh, and then, so they, but they were awesome, and it was, it, was, it was, I was more entertained by them than I think they were of us. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but then last night in Melbourne, it was, it was a theater, like a proper nice old theater, so it was less like a rock concert than the Brisbane show. Um, but everybody had had a thousand beers, and there were two hecklers, and one guy just kept going, bang a rang from the back. Which isn't even an Australian thing. <laughs> It's a Spielberg thing. <laughs> bang a rang. That's not Australian. So, and then there was a guy up front who was, we, we were talking to a blind woman in the back and he was heckling her. <laughs> he, he, well, was, yeah. She wasn't blind, right? She was, she was gonna going to be blind, blind in but 10 still, years. He, he took a pretty hard line on her. Well, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, he, he turned out to be right. Back to the, yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, shut up like, to the <laughs> blind lady. Or she wasn't blind, but yeah. yeah I, uh, but then, so there was a guy, we, we ran into somebody after the show at a bar and he said, that, it goes, the guy in the the bangerang guy up in the balcony, I was, I was, we were sitting behind him, and he had his shoe off at one point. He was like waving his shoe. And then they, they'd watched him drink 11 beers, and then he just looked at his shoe, and then filled his shoe with vomit. <laughs> so now he's sitting there with a the vomit-filled shoe, 
And then he realized that he has to go clean his shoes, so he just pours the vomit out? No, no, he went outside, he poured it on the, on the, on the sidewalk outside, and then he proceeded to get in a fight. And uh, then, then we left and got food, and then we came back, and I saw the very vomit he poured out. I didn't realize at the time that this was Shoe Man's vomit, but I pieced it together afterwards. Oh, was it on the sidewalk? Yeah. I was, saw that too, yeah. Yeah, it, and we were like, that's weirdly fresh vomit. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. With little pieces of koala meat in right, there. Right, yeah. <laughs> little chlamydia uh, koala meat. Uh, that was a Sydney Cider's vomit. Uh, no, it was a, it was a Melbourneian. I, I think he was from Ips, Ipswich. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, b both, both, both g great cities, both in their own different way. Uh, Melbourne was like the, the, the hipster city and, and, uh, Brisbane was like Gremlins 2. Uh, 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 oh, we got, I think, I, I, I think, I think, I think Brisbane is Sydney's Ipswich. <laughs> It's, this is starting to make sense. I'm from I'm from the Midwestern United States. Everybody always has to have a community like like we're, when you're from Milwaukee, you have to pick on Cudahy. Uh, you've never it's just like a, a town of 200 people where they where they where all the tanning factories are. So it smells like poop when you when you drive past it. So, um, people in Milwaukee love picking on Cudahy because it's like just shit rolls downhill. So, but but the, Sydney is the multicultural capital of you know I mean you could, even the world, let alone Australia. This is the first first place, this is the first European settlement. This is where they first opened the prison colony for business. They were like, this is the place, let's send them. And then in the 19th century, they, 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 they said, okay, you're not prisoners anymore, now you can try to build a society. And, uh, and the Aborigines were like, what about us for 30,000 years? <laughs> and then that beds are burning video. And, um, <laughs> And then everything's fine. Everything's fine now. Wow. That, that, oh, well, that, you don't die. So, oh, 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 you, you had him with Gremlins too. you lost him with On Golden Pond. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know the Hepburn fans here, huh? <laughs> Maybe that's why you liked this, that song so much. Like, like, they were like, this sounds really original. I'm like, that's, 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 uh, that's bringing up baby. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, but it's beautiful here. It's beautiful in Melbourne, but beautiful here. We're, we're actually going to be here for a little while. Uh, yeah. we're, we're extending our vacation, and then we're, I'm, I'm, I'm off to Fiji. But uh, um, yeah, when we first, when we landed uh, in the airplane, we got into the, we went from the airplane to the, to the, to the baggage claim. We got into the shuttle, and the first thing Spencer said, having taken in that much of Australia, was, "Hot Canada." <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a good I think, way, just to be clear, in a good way. And I think there might have been a little pejorative, like, I, I think it was just at that point, it was like, okay, it's hot. Also, it's yeah, I mean, we've, we've flown over and landed in much drier areas, but that area specifically was very green, very hilly, very much like Canada in the summer. It was great. Also, the architecture to me is very reminiscent of Can uh, Canada in that it's just very... Um, like uh, interesting and, and I don't know, you know, all the buildings look the yeah, fucking you, same in but LA. But this is only the second country you've ever visited outside of the States. So yeah. you, if you went to Thailand, you, you'd just go, Asian uh, Canada. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, if I go to Thailand, I'm like, it's like hot Australia. <laughs> it's just, and then I'll go to China and I'll be like, it's like big Thailand. <laughs> it's like cold, uh, Russia is like cold China. <laughs> That's all, it's just the last place I've been to. There are 250 languages spoken here, which I'm sure is the case for any city above a certain, you know, level of uh, population. There's like 5 million people living here. 250 languages? Come on, some of those are f fake. <laughs> Are, are there even 200? That, that's like, there's some, there's some fucking, well, like, in, India's Star got, Wars India's got like 49 of them, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, you get into these old, these much old, ancient countries, and yeah. they have like twenty-five thousand languages. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 
people are weird. <laughs> I, just, I just, I get into town, I open up the first paragraph of Wikipedia, and I, I, I buy a hat, and I'm just, I'm gold. You guys are very supportive. You should be booing by now, for sure. God knows, in Brisbane, it, they, 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 a bowling yeah. ball would have been yes, shot at me. <laughs> but, uh, I, just, I, I, just, I, to, I told them in Melbourne, I'll tell you, yeah, if you ever see me uh, announce a, a, a game of audience sound effects, I'm in Brisbane. Like I, I was, a, I, I, it was not, again. It's not their fault. Like it was my fault. Like the energy I put into the room, and they were just wonderful people. I, the, what, it, 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 but I was just, yeah. Well, you obsessed about their language for a long I time. I did. And I was doing the whole accent thing. Oh, la di da. Dan's gonna do the fucking accent humor. <laughs> to me, it wasn't like punching down. I was like, I was trying to learn because your accent is very, very difficult from a from a dialectic standpoint. It's hard to imitate. Um, uh, but I came up with the phrase that I, I I've been. I, let's I, let, let's chart your progress and see <laughs> if you're getting better. The the phrase that I've landed on, and it's a, again, I know this isn't how you talk. <laughs> this is this is the <laughs> sentence that I say. And my how, note my note going into this is Dan, it, it's a little too tense. Yeah, because I'm, it, I'm thinking too hard about each word. But if I don't think about each word, I'll just sound like a chimney sweep. <laughs> You know, if an American tries to do Australian, it's just like, pfft, he's going to go right into uh, uh, Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins. <laughs> but if it's, there's, there's nuance to it. It's a playful, wonderful dialect. It's, uh, and it's, uh, so I've been trying to learn it because I want to be able to do it. So I arrived at this phrase. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, I like that hat, mate. <laughs> Don't encourage me. I, I think they're just applauding the payoff. Like, like they're not, they're not, they're not <laughs> saying, oh, he's really, I bite Joe, I think he's good. <laughs> no, one, no one in Australia is ever that upset about it, anything. At <laughs> least of all, a guy who likes that hat, mate. <laughs> but it's just me trying to, I'm like, each word, I'm like, I like that hat, mate. <laughs> so angry. No. He's not like angry, you're, though. You're it's passing like, a stone. Well, remember the guy in the Energizer commercials? Oi! Jackie, what was his name? Jocko. Right. I'm dating myself. Jacko. All right. Uh, all right. We're moving on. Moving on. We're all human beings. <laughs> but they, Is that uh, one of your notes? Yeah. No. <laughs> this is daily reminder. All right. So... Well, I want to ask you a question. Okay, so th those hotel safes, do those even work? Like, 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 like I mean, I, they're fun for us. Like, we like the idea that we're locking something in those safes. But you're, if, you're gonna, if you're the kind of person that finds themselves in a hotel room that doesn't belong to you, which rules out most of us. Like, there's no cat burglars in this room. Or, like, like, or, or inside job hotel larcenists, you know? Like, those people know how to crack one of those fucking safes. Yeah, because if you forget your... Code. Yeah. Somebody there knows how to get into that safe. Yeah, and also there's like YouTube videos of the guy, of a guy cracking that the, those safes, and there's also a YouTube video of a of a spider dragging a mouse up the side of a refrigerator. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to pretend we're in a safe place, even though I'm covered. I'm I'm riddled with bites already. I know something got me. <laughs> it was a huntsman. I know a huntsman was on me. <laughs> This just, place is just scary. Those guys, like, like, there's these people that come up like behind you at the supermarket, and like when you if you type in your like if you're, you're paying with a credit card or a d debit card, or whatever, and you type in your code. There's people that have a, a heat sensing like app on their phone, or like a little add-on to their to their camera phone, and it reads the numbers because it can still see the heat signature from the ones that you push. Oh jeez, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were talking about spider detectors or something. <laughs> I thought you were saying like, just people in Australia. This is how bad the spider problem is. <laughs> They have an app for that, like that you can see spider tracks across your dashboard. Yeah. But we were in, we were, anyways, we were, we were, I think we were in Brisbane and I was, I, I was headlong into my spider anxieties and someone said, there hasn't been a spider related death in Australia in 30 years. And I was like, I, you know, you, you, a normal continent wouldn't have to say that. <laughs> no one says that in North America, no one says that. And I, we shoot each other every day. I, I, like did, I was reading the... Uh, was there it? hasn't been a mass shooting in the United States in three weeks. <laughs> I was reading the Mass paper. meaning more than eight. That's... <laughs> Look, I mean, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You start... You, when the arithmetic comes in, you're hiding something. 
It's, it's, I'm saying, like, there's been gerrymandering or something going on as you guys redefine spider-related death. That's all I'm saying. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just know I see these videos. There's a lot of spiders down here, and it's the ones you can't see that kill you. You have ones the size of apes that, that can just put you to sleep for an afternoon. And they'll go in your kitchen and make uh, mango hummos, whatever they... <laughs> they'll make a, he'll, he'll make a flat white. The spider will go in and make a, a delicious flat white, which I love. Because I, I, cappuccino, fucking... The only reason I never order cappuccino is because of all that goddamn foam. You guys are geniuses. Thank you. <laughs> flat white. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, it's catching on back in the States, the flat white. I'd never heard of it until this trip. Me too, but then, but then Cody said, by the way, also it's catching on back in the States. I can't wait to get back home and, 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 and have a, a flat white and, 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 and taste all of it because part of my brain won't be vigilant against spider attack. What do they do? It's just, it's just a, a coffee and they put milk on top of it? What, what it's, just a, it's like a cappuccino, but I don't know, they put foam reductor in it or something. <laughs> They put, they put snake venom or something in it that makes the foam go down. So it's not like a big pile of foam. Like a cappuccino is so good, but then it's like it's this big, it's like a baby taking a bath, you know? There's like a big, a big cone of foam on it. Like, who are you trying to impress? This isn't liquid. What am I supposed to do with it? It gets all over your face. It's like a novelty drink, a cappuccino. They figured it out. They took the nonsense out. Oi. It's a, it's a flit. It's a flit. Oi. A flat white, <laughs> according to my dialect chart. That's a, I, I, the I is an A, is a, 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 the oi is an I. Okay, all right. So, um, all right. So, not, you know, I don't think you're going to find probably anywhere you go. Every time we go outside the United States, be it to Canada or here. <laughs> It's, 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 the, 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 sometimes the food is wonderful, sometimes the food is bad, doesn't really matter, varies city to city, but everywhere outside the United States, by virtue of, or by want of the kind of like particular, I think, capitalist, fascistic frenzy that we have there, where it's like, you are never more than a, 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 a corned beef hash order served properly, uh, away from prison time, like like you, like America takes its capitalism very seriously. So its food service industry, again, it's hit and miss in terms of the quality of the food. But you better believe the people making the food and bringing it to your table. They have a little hustle in their bustle yeah. that you don't find when you leave the now, states. Canada, Canada, you can go into a restaurant and die of hunger because they're just not they're not coming. They, they're just just no urgency at all. And there's a, there's a, you know, it's like, like there's, I've had some really, really good food here, but, but yeah, by and large, it's kind of like, yeah, thanks for coming into this place where we're making food sometimes, and you kind of, <laughs> sometimes you're kind of waiting, like, I, 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 I went to the, I went, I went to this place, but, well, whatever, I don't want, to, uh, look, uh, uh, <laughs> like, uh, this is not me complaining, it, it is me complaining. It's, uh, well, it's a, it's not the place, it's the, just the restaurant, right? Well, this pl the place yeah. that we ate just before we came here was yeah, fucking insane. Yeah, it's not insane. Australia's fault. It's there, Rock Pool's has anybody fault. been to the Rock and Pool? Rock Pool. Rock Pool. Rock Pool Bar and Grill House. It was, it was like if the Little Rascals tried to build an eyes wide shut, uh, <laughs> and all they had was the materials. They just had all the black onyx, the the formica, and the and the crystal, but and and and, and, and none of the acumen. Like I. I <laughs> It's this weird, multi-tiered, labyrinthine Lego village where uh, it, it, it's really strange. And all of the wait staff, uh, they, they, not, they, it's, it's nobody, who, who expects a wait person to, the, it's, the whole experience to me was like being pulled over like by a cop. <laughs> That's, yeah, my so, headspace was exactly that stressed but, and angry. But, but part of it felt like we were the cops, like we caught them having a restaurant. <laughs> And they were like flummoxed, right. like they were they were high. They're like, or... yeah, no, they 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 found us out. They're coming for our drugs. We got to make this look right. Yeah, we're like, a restaurant. Because we were trying to find out how to get into it. Because they have a thing here, Jeff. Uh, we have you know handicap access. You know, you put a ramp or something. You know, in America, we like begrudgingly like Arr, put a ramp. Arr, fine, give me my subsidy. Um, <laughs> Here they're much more progressive, but it's like it's a little confusing. Like you, we walk up to the 
restaurant, it just, it says, uh, disabled access only. <laughs> and we just paused in our tracks, like, and we're looking at a restaurant, the people are cleaning glasses, they're just looking at us. <laughs> and it says just only, and we're like, we just froze, and we're like, On only? Yeah. Like, so we, you, know, you can't, so you can't take, that would be like using a handicapped stall to go in the door that's right in front of us. Yeah, I don't think, and the person's just watching us. <laughs> Playing in the glass, and then we finally just like start walking away. We're looking at him. We're waiting for him to go. Like, no, no, no. That's just a, that's a, that's a uh, kind of a formality. Like, the only part. But I think it's serious. It's but law. it was like that was the only way to get into this place. The, then we went on this right. weird that, that like, entrance had a had a sign for the place, but the proper entrance had not didn't really have the signage. So like we saw what was the actual entrance, and we figured out as the entrance because it was twenty stairs. That was the only <laughs> clue. That this was the same uh, building I mean, we were trying to enter. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show the video I took of the like. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this. So, so you, you did some photojournalism here. So you gotta some, set this up. Videography. They on the on the drinks menu they had a, a set of rules that I posted on Instagram, and we were going back and forth on whether or not the rules were like a joke or serious. But either way, it's fucked because if they were serious, they're bullying me, and if they're <laughs> and if they were joking, they're bullying me. <laughs> Except then you have to divine that they're not actually bullying me; they're just bullying me. What what, what were what, some of the rules? Uh, don't look at anyone fiercely. Yeah, don't look, don't join a conversation. That, that, that's that's your bread and butter, though, man. No, that's all I do. So speaking of which, speaking of yeah, your your physical appearance, oh. did your hair get more awesome today? Like, what, you're, you're, it's really. Thank you, thank you. Um, no, your, your hair is like just like, like a it's velvet down. cascade. It's down, baby. It's usually up. Yeah, yeah. I like it. You're it's not, glorious. You're, you're not gonna go uh, straight up uh, Mel Melbourne top knot on me, are you? Oh no. <laughs> Top, I, a lot I, of top knots I here, people. Top a lot knots. of top knots. No, there's top knots everywhere. Yeah, this is fashionable. I think Australia's leading the league. I don't know, man. Fucking LA is top knot city, and I hate it. I just want to <laughs> drive over all those people. <laughs> Do we have any top knots in the house? No top knots? Oh, and then the lady, the, uh, the lady was, was giving me water. They were giving me, uh, okay, so like at this point, I was really agitated. Like I was, like I said, it was like being pulled over. Like my heart was racing and my skin was vibrating. And um, she kept refilling my water and she came around one more time to refill my water. And I was like, no, no, I'm good. And she didn't say anything and she just poured me the water. <laughs> And as she was walking away, she was like, just in case. And I was like, I'm, I'm out. And I walked out. Spencer just what? boned out. Yeah. Just because she refilled my water. Just, just deal breaker. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, she, you, again, she, I told her not to, and she did. She was bullying yeah, me. Yeah. You have, you, you created, you want to create a, some sort of social contract with these people. And if they're going to violate the simple, simple things. Yeah. I was doing it right. I wasn't looking at anyone fiercely. I wasn't joining a single conversation. Okay, so I took, I went, I went to go to the bathroom in this place, and then I, when I came back from the bathroom, I, I then, because I was like, I can't believe what I just walked through, so I came back, and then I, I took my, that's why I shot in portrait mode, I'm not an amateur, uh, <laughs> but I, uh, I, I, so I recreated the bathroom walk, uh, so, but, but I, I don't know if this will translate or not, but this is what you go through to get to the bathroom in this place. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> so you walk around, there's this whole big restaurant, but you gotta, you gotta go around this corner, and then there's this really narrow staircase. And it's already, like, weird, like you're going to an attic. Okay. And it's, there's a landing, and then you turn, and then... It's another narrow staircase. And at this point, you're thinking, okay, the bathroom's coming, right? No, this is where the wedding area is. There's a wedding going on. Oh, excuse me. So, like, it's, it's, it's starting to look like, 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 it's like the or shining, the, like you're just going to see a guy blowing a lion. <laughs> or that, that might just be a bathroom purgatory, people that never found yeah. the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, they just, they just fell in love and got married. <laughs> so, then I, yeah, okay, so then you go past this. What is this? This is a kitchen? What, why am I in the, there's a, a stove here. But there's two guys doing their taxes on it. 
These aren't chefs. Wait, but these are like bodyguards or something, like Odd Job and like 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 Dwayne the Rock Johnson are doing their taxes on a on an oven in the middle of a carpeted vestibule next to a wedding, up two flights of narrow stairs, and still no bathroom. But they're, but they're like in a hotel corridor here, right? It's carpeted. Uh, yeah, and so okay, so then you keep going, and I'm I'm getting scared. So MF, like I think that's bathroom, male, female. I don't know if that's an Australian thing. I'm like okay. So you keep following the MF, but what is this area? Okay, <laughs> services, <laughs> but it's blocked with a, it's blocked with a c couch. Is something trying to get out of there? Like, 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 what are the? And is that? A, oh, I, 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 that's a doorknob. Now I'm overreacting. I thought that was like a crucifix. Okay, <laughs> but then I just run it. What are the other doors? Electrical cupboard. And the old WIP hose reel. They're still working on that one. Yeah. Um, all right. So then you go down this narrow hallway of these these door. I don't know if you can tell how narrow these doors are. Like they. It's like they, a radius. Is it, is it, I, I, this is your second time doing this. So you know where you're going. Well, now, right? I knew I knew yeah. to point the camera at some stuff, but okay. I'm also terrified I'm going to get caught. Like. Because there's like guys in dinner jackets keep walking by and looking at me, but I don't know if you can see like the, the, these doors, like they're really they narrow and they have these really high doorknobs and they don't, they don't, they, they have like this weird purple glow coming out. <laughs> like it's like the Minority Report virtual sex dungeon. <laughs> like there's a guy behind each door, like like engaged in a different fantasy. <laughs> Um, there's this guy just oh, came out of like one weird bathroom that I don't that, that was the handicap was that, one Is that Chris Hardwick? <laughs> yes, and then it says toilet and then you got your M and your F and uh, I Finally, you know Finally, yeah, thank you, sir <laughs> Not that I see the world through that lens, but <laughs> Oh no, uh, please <laughs> Christ <laughs> Uh, will will that translate to our audio podcast know. listeners? No, but these people paid good money for, can, can for you, a show. Can, 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 you, can you upload a link to that on your Yelp review of this place? <laughs> yeah. Like, like you, you better kind of just kind of have to pee when you start that process. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but the food was great. It was? Cody said her prawn was good, but then halfway through the meal, she said she started, she, 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 could, she was seeing a cloud that wouldn't go away. <laughs> I don't think that's this restaurant's fault. It was before we, we, when we were ordering, she started to see this thing. I'm really concerned about her. She's back yeah. at the hotel. What, uh, she, uh, what am I going to do without my bean? <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> I didn't cancel the show or anything. I, I told Steve to check in on her halfway. But uh, I, I got her permission to tell this story. We uh, we got we got I mean I, like like we got to the hotel and then um, I guess I guess there was some maybe screw up or something. I don't know. I don't think they. I don't know what the. I'm not gonna throw shade on the hotel as the kids would say. Uh, I don't know what they did wrong or didn't do wrong. I, I just sat in the lobby and played cookie collector until someone handed me the hotel key. We went up to the room. The room was was small, but whatever, it's a hotel. But then I guess, you know, our very intrepid, very like, uh, she's, she's, the, she's the civilized Crocodile Dundee uh, to our, uh, what's her name from Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> she's our Australian guide. She's our, she's our, she's yeah. our point person. Alice, she's Alice our, has been taking very good care of us. She's our, she's our wrangler. And, and every time there's a problem, you, you get to say, go ask Alice, like, like uh, for some reason. When she was just small. <laughs> But she, I guess she, she did some, some wrangling at that desk and maybe between that and the niceness of the Australian people in general, uh, they upgraded our rooms. So we got, the guy came to our door, gave us keys, me and Cody, we went up to a different room. It was a fucking penthouse. It was weird, it was crazy. There was a boardroom in our room. There's a, <laughs> there was a, there's a room and then there's like two bathrooms and there's a bedroom and then there's like a hallway. It's a, there, there's a, Is there there's a door a, marked WIP hose reel? <laughs> it's a, there's a hose reel because in there? That's a, that, that's a portal straight to Rockpool restaurant. <laughs> Let's not gloss over this conference room, this boardroom. It, it had a conference table with how many but chairs? More than I, eight. I, I think, think it's yeah. yeah, it it a ten-person... Ten like a literal conference board. room. 
It was made room. for board board meetings. Yeah, and 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 I, the first thing we thought when we looked at it is we gotta we gotta fuck on this, like. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do some kind of sexual role play. Like we yeah. don't, we don't, because like, usually when we do that, we. I want that report on my giant desk. <laughs> <laughs> we usually have to, we have to when we when we do our little role playing scenarios. That's what Cody and I are into. Again, I got her permission. If she's dying tonight, and she don't feel bad for her, that she, she did give me permission to tell to talk about our sex life uh, before, before. Because like we, real quick, like when they travel, like we'll, we'll be somewhere on the road, and we'll be getting into the hotel. Like we'll be, or we'll be out having lunch or whatever. Go back to the hotel. Hotel. And Dan's like, okay, I'll be beans on. I'll be down in the bar, and you, you, you can go up there, and you know, I'll be, I'll be up in five minutes. I'm like, I'm like, oh, like, what are you like? Are you taking a lobby shit? Like, you know, so she can have things. Like, it's like, no, she has to get in costume. <laughs> it's, you know, like, well, sometimes I say. But you but, guys, you guys go out and shopping. Like, you go on little costume shopping. We go, to, we go to Amazon. You know, it's like we, we order stuff on Amazon. Yeah. And but when it, I go to pitch it, meetings at Amazon because they make TV, I'm just like I'm always like walking out of there going like, well, did they say no to that TV idea because it's a bad TV idea or because they know I'm a fucking weird sex fiend <laughs> who 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 always orders way too much toilet paper and, and like, like 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 just pantyhose in bulk. Um, anyways, the. Uh, <laughs> But we, we did, we, yeah, so we, I was like, oh, let's do a little role play with the, using the boardroom environment, because we're not gonna have this ever again. But it got really confusing because I tried, I thought I could improvise my way through this, where, where I was like, I was a human resources guy. <laughs> but I was- I bet this, you were. I was investigating her because someone had filed a complaint that she was dressed too provocatively at work. And then, but she, and then she's like, well, this is how I dress all the time. What's wrong with this? And I was like, uh, uh, well, a lot of times what happens is guys at the office, will, if they get aroused, they'll like, they'll like try to, try to uh, get revenge like by filing a complaint. And I'm sorry, it's their word against yours. Unless... Uh, <laughs> And, then, and then I was like, but it was getting really because she was trying to like yes, yeah, but she's like, where are you going with this? Like, and I was like, well, did I, and she's like, is this about? And then she just made, the, is this about? Uh, what, did, what did she say, Jason Ortega? <laughs> and I was like, Jason Ortega? No, this has nothing to do with Jason Ortega. No, he he. Well, I mean, all I can tell you is that multiple people have filed complaints about your provocative clothing. And then, and, then, and then I was just like, so, I, I didn't know how She to, was yes anding you, but you absolutely knowed her, her. Yeah, well, I was like, Jason Ortega may or may not be a part of this. Oh, but okay, fair I, enough. I, That's Because I was trying to figure out, I was like, how did you think that you could jump into this pool and find your way to any edge that had to do with having sex before we have to go to dinner? And, I, I, and so the way I got through it was, I was like, I, 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 look, um, there's exceptions we can make. Um, if I can prove that my dick fits in your pussy. <laughs> if I can prove that it's just you as an individual that is arousing and not your outfits, <laughs> I, then I, I can I'm, take I'm, your I'm side. Hard, I'm hard as a fucking diamond right now. <laughs> And I'm like, and I'm like, the whole time we're having sex, I'm like what? justifying. I'm like, yeah, see, this isn't your fault. You, you were, you were born this way. I mean, yeah, the outfit's great, but it's your, it's the way it, it it's on you. And 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 wow, you're great at this. And I, and so I think I think you, I think I'm gonna file a favorable report. With human resources, all, all over you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it, it may be the last encounter she ever has with me is a badly Wait, improvised so sexual role play. Like, don't, you don't reveal anything you don't want to reveal, obviously, but and, and don't get specific, but like, I, I know that you guys do these fairly elaborate like backstory, like role playing things. So you are doing like improv. Yeah. Like you're, you're, you're doing a little scene. Yeah, yeah. And like, how good are you guys at staying in character? Like, are, are you guys- Really get... good, yeah. Like, like... <laughs> I mean, that's the problem with like the the uh, Jason Ortega or something that will throw somebody. You know, we don't want to we don't want to break. Like we don't we don't tend to. Wait, see now, it's very I, immersive. You, know, you could have done. You should have said that. Uh, yeah, it was about Jason Ortega. And then you make up what he said. Like, like, yeah. Like, no. You know, okay, like, Jeff. And you, you reenact. Win. You, should, it's, it's you really... should be making love to my girlfriend. 
It's easy. What if, what if right at that moment she goes, is this about Jason Ortega? And you're like, no, no, it could it be, it might not, it could be anybody. And then knock, 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 and I'm there and I have a na Jason name tag yeah. on. You're dressed as a mariachi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, well. It's a little over the top, but Jason Ortega's here. Uh, yeah. Jason well. Ortega. That's too specific. That has to be a high school something. Like, like, that Jason sounds like Ortega. a famous person, right? No, she actually said, well, she explained afterward because we like to go back over it when we're done with it. <laughs> I, I, like, like, well, I, 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 you know, I grabbed the towel and then we I kind of yeah. like, well, wait, yeah. hey, back, <laughs> back at Albuquerque, I took a left because I thought, oh, no, you did. I, I, but it's, she was, she was, she was, she, the first name off the top of her head, she was afraid was going to like upset me because it was somebody we were been talking about earlier. And that, that, that she, that, so she had to like really like hang a hard left off of a more naturally improvised name because it was you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but anyways, all right. So, uh, like, 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 look, no, no Harmontown show ab abroad would be complete without. And then I just fart and like, <laughs> leave. The the uh, owner of the uh, Sydney Opera House comes out and thanks you for coming, <laughs> Kevin Sydney. Uh, That, why was that joke that guy's favorite part of the show? <laughs> Kevin Sidney. That really... You, you really got that guy's number now. <laughs> it's like, I, guess I, was, I guess I'm kind of going... I'm like, yeah, that is kind of funny the more you think about it, because it's like... What you, it's, it's called the Sydney Opera House. It's in Sydney, like, and you... Yeah, you're... you're yeah, okay. That is kind of funny. Uh, well, thank you, sir. I agree. Uh... Uh, well, well, but but we should let's 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 get to know uh, some of our friends in a segment we do in Australia called Ask an Australian. Oh. Except that was well. I was told if I go off stage that uh, the, the cameras won't be able to see me. So wh who cares? Like, you guys can see me. Like, we'll just be out here for a second. We'll start in the front because these guys must have done something special. Like. Uh, <laughs> Look at this guy. I mean, come on. <laughs> Would you, uh, are you willing to come up on stage if we promise we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about y your uh, really red hair? <laughs> because I cannot make that How's promise. How's it going? With Ryan? Uh, Ryan, everybody. Ryan Welcome, Ryan. Good to you. All right. R Ryan, I, I just learned from our friend Allie in the front row here, who also has uh, brilliantly red hair, uh, that, what, what's, the, what's the word? Ranger. Yeah, ranger. Ranger? Ranger? Is that like a ginger? Is that your word for ginger? It, it comes from like orangutan. <laughs> we cop that a lot in Australia. That's... Are there, is there, a, lot, is there a, a heavy redhead population in Australia? Yeah, there's a few. We get around. I guess there's more, there's more in Scotland than Ireland. Is that true? Anybody know that? Yes. I don't know, are, I think are you, I read you Scottish, that Scottish heritage? Actually, I don't think so. Are you adopted? And I, maybe. No, uh, none of my brothers, none of my cousins, none of my aunts, neither of my parents, none of my grandparents have red hair. Really? I just kind of appeared. But, but like, it's like, yeah, I, I like what's going on here. Very, like, it's very, very like, like, illustratively waved. It's very nice. It's very good. Thank you. I yeah. do my best. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so Ryan, uh, do you, are you a local? You, well, wait, you, we you... have to verify his authenticity. Oh, sorry, yeah, with sorry. One of my... We have to put you through a legal uh, procedure here. Yeah. I, write, I, like, I write little phrases for the Australian guests to read to verify their uh, Australianness. Because if I said this, I wouldn't sound Australian at all. Can you read that? It's at the top in boldface. Right. There's more spiders here than people, and the ones you can't see are the ones that kill you. Yeah, you sound pretty Australian. Thank okay. you. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, that's the only one I had left, by the way. We're gonna write more or make them up if we. I'll have yeah. to whisper to the next person. Okay. I'll, I'll be like. Struth, that Crocs a splasher. It Crocs a splasher. That's what you guys say after you take a shit. Struth, that Crocs a splasher. Someone should. Someone should tame that thing. Uh, are, are you from here? 
Uh, I'm originally from Lithgow in the Blue Mountains. Wow. Lithgow. Popular. Few people apparently know Lithgow. Um, I'm living in Wollongong at the moment, which is south a little bit. Wollongong? Uh, Wollongong. Wollongong. Yeah, that's, I'm going to Wollongong. university there. I love it. But I spend a fair bit of time in Sydney. My brother lives here, so. Yeah, what, yeah. what do you do for a living? Uh, up until recently, I was a science interpreter, so teaching science to kids, working at a planetarium. Ooh. Uh, now, I'm currently not doing that. I, I pulled out of that because I'm doing my master's in teaching. Oh, good well, for you. All good news, right? <laughs> what do you want to teach? Uh, I have a degree in history and one in English Lit, so yeah. either, either or. Yep. Okay, so as a, as a history teacher... Check out the brains on Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Can you verify for me that we are, uh, in, in the States, uh, we are fucked? <laughs> <laughs> that we are, we're like historically like fucking 1932 fucked. Uh, I don't want to be an alarmist, but yeah. Uh. I mean, we had to at this point. Like everybody in the everybody in the internet's always like, oh, you know, uh, uh, compared to Hitler. It's like, like I, I don't care, man. I don't care about a party foul. If somebody's so much like Hitler that that I, I, I really I would really love to be wrong. I'm fine with that. But I, if I'm right, I think it's important to be right earlier than later. I think that maybe people should have compared Hitler to Hitler sooner. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, and I think most Australians will agree with me when I say it was kind of hilarious for a little while yeah. while it was happening. Th like Hitler? Yeah, like Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Because he literally looked like Charlie Chaplin? Well, yeah, yeah. People are like, you're hilarious, uh, 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 but come on, you can't talk like that, you're going to jail. And he's like, I'm going to write a dumb book. And I was like, this dumb book is great, said the morons. And then it's like, like everything was like perfect parallel. Yeah. And then it, and the first thing he did when he got elected not by a majority, but by the German Electoral College. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> when he swept Michigan? Yeah. Yeah. There's this, there's this patch of, of, of field next, uh, uh, right on the armpit of the, of the, of the, of the uh, Rhine, uh, the, where, where, where everyone has 300 votes. Um, anyways, the... the uh, Harmon, save it for your therapist. Uh, <laughs> What, uh, what, what, so where, where are you guys at? Because uh, 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 there's so many strange, like, uh, flippy floppies that, 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 that happen. I mean, like, in the, in the human sense, you can just tell a, a, a hip, progressive, liberal person uh, from, from, a, from a kind of more starchy, conservative person, no matter where you go. But everybody has different words for the stuff. And also, it's not just semantics, because you, depending on where you're at, your, your, the progressives could be secessionists, or progressives could be like gun nuts. Like, like what's happening in the states right now is like I feel like I want to buy a gun and dig a hole and like wait for Trump to try to pry my gun out of my cold dead fingers, <laughs> which doesn't. Ma I, I'm like a constitution nut now. What somebody's yelling something out? What's was it worth it? Yeah, our conservative gov party yeah, yeah. is called the liberal. I know liberals. that's the first yeah. thing I found out is it's a careful because you yeah our, our liberals are Nazis. <laughs> They're like, yeah. uh, I was like, what? That's crazy. But then you go like, well, what does Republican mean? Like, oh, these guys love republics so much. It has a, it's never really made any sense. It's just. Anybody? Anyways, what I wanted to ask you is like, like, can you like, like and and if you don't want to take the slings and arrows, for, but if it's like a hot button and you're like, I don't, I, don't, I came up here to talk about my beautiful hair, like I don't want. <laughs> But you're a history teacher. That sounds like you have the respect of the crowd. Like, where, where are you? Where, where are you? Where is, where is Australia at right now as this world is shifting into what I would call a factors leading to chapter in the history book? Uh, it's nationalist revolution. It's kind of hard to say, to be honest. We're caught between... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, fucked. We're, fucked. we're fucked. You're fucked too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think we're fucked. we're all kind of a little bit fucked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that guy's just the subtitles of what's going on up here. <laughs> the, our current prime minister's like the most smug, rich guy you can possibly imagine. He's he's maybe better than the last guy. Maybe. Is this Turn, then, Turnbull, right? Yeah, Turnbull is our current PM, and then Tony Abbott. <laughs> Tiny oh, Abbott? Yeah. Tony. <laughs> like, is this like, is it more like Crocodile Dundee than I thought? Like, uh, our prime minister is Donk. Uh, and then Tiny Abbott's our, uh, our president. No, okay. 
Uh, Tony, he, Tony Abbott. He, he was like a monumental piece of shit, but... <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't really have the wherewithal to hide it, so... Everyone knew he was a piece of shit, whereas uh, Turnbull kind of hides it a bit better, so I feel like he's winning some people over just because he's a bit more swarmy and stuff. Mm. So, uh, yeah, he's probably a lot worse, but he comes across as slightly more palatable. Yeah. Which is worrying. That's why I felt so fucked in the States, is because it's not, it's not Donald Trump. Like, we have the, it's, 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 it's actually, it's either centuries or millennia payback of fixation on the hero worship, the principle, the idea that there's people that can make a difference, it's, as opposed to each individual has to, like, really create their own world and, like, like, like work practically toward a, a world that functions for all of us. We all have this tendency to, we just, it just takes a big load off our shoulders when we pick this favorite person to speak for us, or that, that person's going to bring about stuff so we can kind of do what we do best which is not much at all and that's just that's just us being good orangutans you know like like that's just whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Uh, sorry uh is it <laughs> did, did, did i hear that wrong or do or do australians just yell out baking soda when they get excited that's his word baking soda <laughs> Your, your plastic submarine's going up and down. <laughs> Bacon soda. <laughs> Bacon soda. Remove the odor from your fridgey. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon soda. No, what did he say? I have no idea. Okay. What, what did you say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can say it. It's my word. Yeah, you can say it. It's my word. <laughs> oh, I, oh, he can say it. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it was funny. I, I, that happens to me a lot, too. It's like, well, it's not funny now. <laughs> it's like, it was funny when I yelled it out. <laughs> and I didn't mumble it, so I don't deserve this. <laughs> I nailed it the first time. They all laughed. You got gum in your dumb Yankee ears. <laughs> Very good, sir. Good job on that joke. Dots connected culturally. Uh, all right. So, anyways, let's. Let, all right. So, what, 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 what are you going to tell kids to do as you're teaching them history, and you, you, you're, you're also thinking in your head, I have no future to teach you because, <laughs> like, it's, it's grow gills or drown. Like, yeah. do you just hide that from them? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit optimistic, honestly. The more I work with kids, the more I have faith in the future. Oh, so like, like, like. <laughs> It's, it's honestly true. It's like when you meet a baby boomer, that's when the red flags start popping up in my head. Yeah, or a millennial. So maybe having a soul skips a generation. Yeah, well... <laughs> no. That's what I keep thinking, because I'm from a thing called Generation X. I don't know if they have. That's maybe just an American thing. But it's like we're outnumbered 10 to 1 on both sides. Our parents are these huge douchebags that, like, they, they had their own Trivial Pursuit edition and, like... <laughs> They invented the Beatles and the moon and all this shit. Like, <laughs> well, like everyone makes movies for them and they're just like jack off to references to their lifetime. Like, what? That's, ch uh, what? Chuck w w Willery, uh, oh, I just can't. <laughs> Chuck Willery. <laughs> Uh, but but and then and then and then and then my generation was like I hate my parents that's enough for me and then <laughs> but then we had kids and these though the 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 people the they're they're like they're like little baby boomers I always said that like they love they love their parents and they love the president and teamwork and put <laughs> and I just like I, it just like it started with like we're we're shiny star people we can use an iPad better and and, and it was like you're adorable but there's something fucking Orwellian about you. <laughs> like, 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 and, 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 and then they just like they, they just they hit their teenage years and I was like I know we're one Orwellian dictator from these kids in a jumpsuit like they're gonna flip like a fucking Othello piece like <laughs> and, 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 they, and, and but, but anyway why, 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 am I, why did I bring you up here to just talk at you I've already said all this stuff what do you, tell us the solution tell us how to fix the world <clears throat> I'm gonna get a drink. You want a drink? I would love a drink. All right. Well, well when I come back, you better have a plan the for the world. The solution to everything is murder. Getting a drink, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's murder. No. Yeah. No. It's. I know it's murder. <laughs> you just. You can't. You, you can't do it. That's the problem. I'm, 
I'm touching your ice. I hope that's okay. Yeah, my, my, that's, my, that actually my, makes it better. A friend of a friend of mine is dating some guy uh, down in like in like 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 in Central America, and like they they're, they're super hippie e e ecologist types. And they live in like in mud huts and whatnot, and and it's all about saving the planet, which sounds amazing. But then the more you find out about this guy, is that he's a complete psychopath, and he's he's like he's kind of like a low level wannabe cult guy. Where like w women ha like, like that, ha that hang out with them ha like you can't talk to your parents and you can't talk to anybody that lives in a city because that's all evil and you have to just live with me and connect to, to nature and he starts like running these people's lives and and one of his solutions is like like he really thinks that the, the way to save the planet is just to start killing people. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Start with that guy though. Fuck him. <laughs> It's, it's right. the world's shortest O. Henry novel. Yeah. <laughs> Lead by example, motherfucker. Yeah. It's a two-minute Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> Time enough for genocide at last. Wait, me? <laughs> uh, I, ju I, ju I do have that, like, wasn't it one of the, one of the two guys, was it Watson or Crick, who uh, uh, they did the guys that discovered the shape of DNA? One, one of them... One of them's like a cosmic DNA guy that said, that said like, oh, DNA couldn't have uh, evolved on Earth. There's not enough time mathematically. And I don't know if it's the same guy, but there's an another of the two in an uncomfortable, cringy way uh, has been, gone on record as saying that uh, stupidity is a disease and we should cure it with eugenics. You know, like, like, oh, some people are just dumb. They're just born dumb. And like, that's like any other disability. And why don't we cull that from the population if we're interested? And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, uh, oi in the Australian and the Yiddish. Uh, like, like neither of us want to go there. Uh, the, the, but, 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 like, like, like. But then you, what, what then in my country, where or my prison colony, where, where, where this, where this, this recent thing happened, it was like I just started feeling even before the election actually kind of went the way it did. I, 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 I started having this like weird like I was just like fuck stupid people. I just don't. I, I like, and I, I, it's not like I, I. I graduated college, so by stupid I must mean something else. And yeah, I, no, I, definitely fuck stupid people. I, but, but should we just should we just go, go to war? With no, them? but I mean I don't know. The thing is, democracy makes us hate stupid people because their stupidity counts as much as ours or more. Because you know we live in California and our vote counts less than someone who lives in Wyoming, and we're better than Wyoming, and Wyoming's full of idiots. <laughs> you hear that, Wyoming? Yeah, go fuck yourself. I used and, to tell people Wyoming didn't exist and no one challenged me. <laughs> That's a true story. My whole middle school was just lying to people. <laughs> because, you know, as you can tell, I'm an authoritative source that sounds like I know what I'm talking about. So it just, it all tracks, you know? What, all right, as a teacher... I'm, I'm glad that you're a good person, Spencer, because you can be really terrified. No, I know. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably be more effective if I just embraced the evil, but you know. That's I'm, what I I'm think sometimes. I think, like, let's just be super villains. Like, let's right. create a bomb that kills all the dumb people. Right, yeah. Or just take everybody to the moon, I guess, like I've been harping about. Mm -hmm. We could just do that. Or just, you know, fix the education system in America. That would help. That's, that sounds hard. It is hard. <laughs> I got it all figured out. Um, what do you think I should do as a, now I'm talking to the history, the, the, to, the, to the leader of children, mm -hmm. the, cons, <laughs> the consumer of my hit podcast, uh, and just a general, like, nice seeming guy, like, what do you think I should do in the face of all this? I'll give you the spectrum in my head is, ranges from, I'm supposed to uh, use my pulpit to make people uh, think correctly or do accomplish something, and then the, on the other side, I'm supposed to stop thinking about this and, and give people something to laugh about with my rubber ducky uh, squeaking. <laughs> Forget, okay. I, I, th I think you should write Kung Fu Panda 4. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what is the, what am I, what's the path? Like, my therapist can't help me, because she used to tell me, oh, I, I would come in all upset about Trump. I would go, you know, there's a white nationalist movement happening. And she would go, it's secondhand smoke, it's the internet, you're, you're exposing yourself. And then Trump won, and she was like, oops. <laughs> uh, but, but anyways, but like, yeah, so I can't really, I don't really know what I'm supposed to, like, what, who am I? I don't know who I am. T <laughs> tell me, you beautiful crimson viking. <laughs> Oh, 
honestly, if you... <laughs> If your therapist can't help you, I probably can't help too much. But, but, but also, low, a low risk, go. high yield, because, I mean, you'll never see me again. This is like a... You're right. Yeah, okay. One well, night I'll stand. see you tomorrow, because I will be here for your other show. Oh, nice. Okay. So, if, uh, if you don't improve by tomorrow, you can give it to me then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly so, what I meant. Someone's going to get a Jason Ortega name tag. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Now I'm turned on again. Uh, I don't know, shave your head, move out into the wilderness, start yourself a little commune. Go be Joe Rogan. Joe, yeah, that's Joe Rogan, you're right. You're just Joe Rogan. I, I honestly, I, I read uh, the blog post you put on Tumblr just after the election. Yeah, yeah just me, Which, me that, that's, that's what the uh, Nazis call virtue signaling. That's what, that's what they tell me I'm doing. Yeah. White knighting, mansplaining, uh, uh, beta, beta pussying. <laughs> like, I'm just trying, I just, uh, my instinct was just to like, oh, I hope the women feel better and I hope they think I'm a good person. I don't know, I think, I think that's the stuff I like because the way you write has a lot of conviction to it. Every now and then you'll write something that is a little bit more open and susceptible to change. So with that, when I was reading that, it felt like you were more open to changing uh, your perspectives on things. That's what I like to see, and but, it's yeah. not easy. It's yeah. But then I should commit to that. Like, I'm an epiphany addict. I just oh. apologize. <laughs> I, should ju I should just open, like, an apology <laughs> warehouse and just, like, like, give people, like, handcrafted apologies. I, like... I don't think you should force it. I think you should just maybe embrace it when it happens. Because well, otherwise, I... if you're just constantly forcing that kind of catharsis, it's... Yeah. For nothing, I guess. I, I think the simple answer for me, the, the obvious answer, is write a movie. Like, 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 like use, like, like, write a movie. The community movie. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like, like Dan, a long time ago, uh, when we were both broke, we've talked about this on the show before. Like, we would like pay each other's rent back and forth, depending on who was up or down in the chips at the time. And uh, there's a script that Dan wanted to write based on a certain mythological, like, Greek myth, myth character and stuff like that. that I, I always really wanted to do, like. I wanted to see Dan write that, and, and uh, I, I, you, you've got 19,000 TV shows going now, so you're not, and you got a book and all this stuff. So, but like, I think use the the knife that's in your, you know, in your knife holder. <laughs> <laughs> see, I ain't no writer. <laughs> uh, but like, 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 use 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 the tools that you're good at. Like, like, write stuff. Like, write things about like, because you know, the joke in the documentary is that. You, you're a writer that writes about heroes, and heroes by nature have to change. That's the point of a heroic journey, that you start one way and you end uh, something bigger. Um, and that you, you're an epiphany junkie, and you don't change. It, like that's, you know, you've, you've talked about that before. So maybe you don't have to change, but you have, you have to keep writing stories with heroes that do, because that's, you know, that's, that's the point of art, is that it makes sense of suffering and makes, you know, like it give, gives us a language of change. I'm done. That's what I meant. But first, a quick game of audience sound effects. I think we should play. <laughs> uh, uh, that's why I brought it up, because I was like, that'd be a funny callback. You explain it. And then, all right. Well, uh, I already forgot your name. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of the porn phrase CFNM? Yeah. It's clothed female, nude male. Yeah. <laughs> I just discovered it, and it's very exciting to me. It's Wait, great. So it's a naked dude, but the yeah. woman's dress. And personally, I don't care if the guy's naked or not, but I like the clothed female part. It's like, but you can't just type in CF and just, oh, well, I guess that's non-nude, but, but yeah, it's, it's I, I'm very attracted to clothed women. I understand. There's a lot of clothed women in the audience right now. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, don't so, remind me. Almost two thirds. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I was just wondering. Oh, and also, have you, uh, are Where you... Where is this going? <laughs> I'm just asking him some stuff. He's I'm a, open the to audience it. is responding to him. Yeah, yeah. He's popping. No, no, I, 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 I think I speak for the audience, and I think we're all kind of falling in love with Ryan, right? Yeah, now. we love him, we love him. Uh, He's a good Sydney cider. Did, did you, have you downloaded Mario uh, Run? <laughs> It's like 15 bucks or something, isn't it? Well, there's a paywall after like the first four oh, yeah, levels. Oh, you get three levels and then you have to pay. I think it's like Wh 10 bucks. What? Yeah. I knew there was paywalls, but that's fucking crazy. Yeah. God. 
Dad, I'm so, I can't be funny anymore. I should leave. <laughs> I'll go. It'll be fine. That's so fucking stupid. God damn it. It's... I want to flip this table. It's... I would. I would. I'd have to put it back. That's the problem. I like the fact that you were quiet during the Trump and the Hitler stuff, but Mario... Well... <laughs> really? I, a I'm trying. Your bonnet. Man, speaking of Trump, I, this is probably just false hope to cling to, but I heard someone talking, you know, now that the FBI has agreed that Russia has definitely hacked the election, um, the thing is, like, Trump could be tried for treason because he knew and possibly aided and abetted in the help helping a hostile foreign power wage war on our country, which is literally the definition of treason. So yeah. I think that there's actually a treason case that could be made against him. That'd yeah, be cool. Then, 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 yeah. Then, then it's That'll just never sit happen. back and let common sense take its course. It's not going to happen. I mean, I, mean, like, I mean, it has to happen. It needs to happen. But like, like, no, it's the, not gonna happen. like the, the, the horse has left the stable. Well, right. I mean, like, like people keep predicting, they'll go like, oh, well, he's going to, he's he, the Medicare, like, like the people are going to, the people that got him elected, they're going to lose their fucking Obamacare. It's, it's, it's poor white old people with like PTSD from wars and stuff that were getting insurance under Obama that didn't understand what that meant. And we're like, fuck Obamacare. Cause it was like dog whistle for like black guy care. Like, like they were like, there's a black guy in the White House. That means what? So smart white people would rather hang out with smart black people than me? Um, uh, they, they, they got fucking mad and they overthrew the, 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 anyways, I'm saying those people are going to get their fucking health benefits taken away, but they're not going to then go, wait a minute. I think this guy with, with inhuman hair who is like? Is, he wears oh, fucking ball caps. You orange. can't be president. You wear a goddamn trucker hat. Who is this? You know fucking... that was a big trick. That was that was a political strategy because he knows how fucking insane his hair is, and that took it completely out of the picture. I, you I can't think, be I shot. Th you can't I have all these pictures. It, I think he wore it where, like when he got off of like a helicopter. Yeah, it was a windy exactly. Day. Where there's wind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it took it out of the equation. And he's like, "This is my life now." I think. <laughs> I think it was smarter than that, even, even what, smarter, that fucking word can't be used. I, 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 I think it was more strategic than that, because like, that, that guy has like, like, been wearing that hair for a long time, and like, 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 it's been fine like bandying it about, but I, that baseball cap was a real signifier to this whole rust belt. Like, it was like, like, there's a baseball cap, I'm gonna wear it indoors, and it's gonna have like generic felt letters ironed onto it, there's nothing fancy about it. Because every, every, every Trump supporter I've talked to, it's like, it always comes down down to like this anti-intellectual kind of revolution. Like it comes down to this like, you smart Frasers think that you're so smart, <laughs> but I guess you weren't smart enough to win. And, and like, I, I, I grew up in Milwaukee. Like I just, and then I'm like, like, like I, I'm, I'm like, hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm down for an anti-intellectual revolution. I, 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 wanna be, I wanna be dirty and ludite and fucking isolationist maybe, kind of, but why is our leader a, a East Coast trust fund pussy? Like what? what <laughs> Anyways, you guys don't need to hear this. You have your own problems. What am I doing? Why would I come here and dump this on you? <laughs> you, you already probably have to read about it in like the Australian Gazette. You're like, there's... <laughs> why, is the, why are we reading about this guy? He's a million miles away. If he, he, the, the, the day he decided to come here, it would be 15 I, I, hours from, from here. You guys could, like, by I, the time he got here, you could just punch him. <laughs> I just thought that for five days I have not heard, I, I haven't watched any U.S. news sources. I, I read uh, a couple uh, um, Aussie papers, I read a gr very uplifting story about a dog who saved a baby from a snake. <laughs> I saw a story... And the, the fucking snake bit the dog, and then they took the dog in, and $6,000 for the, for the dog, they, they, like, they paid $6,000 to keep that dog alive because he's a baby-saving dog. Yeah, well, the, yeah, that's, that's us, that's, that's the whole point of, uh, of uh, you know, breeding, like... Uh, you want it, definitely want that dog to have more dogs. <laughs> like that's that's what that's what got us to them bringing us newspapers. Is like that. It's like that thing saved a baby. So this one see, didn't save a baby. See, but you're talking, about, you're talking about dog. You're talking about dog eugenics now. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to practice that on each other. We we don't. Yeah, because you can't. You, you, Stephen Hawking never brought anybody a newspaper. Like like. <laughs> Like, well, he, 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 he brought us a new way of thinking about black holes. He, he, he did, it just took a lot longer. <laughs> 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 I 
as, as the comic Vernon Chapman said, Stephen Hawking, sure, he can talk the talk. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not. It's the best. That's, that's, it's the best opener of all time. That's that's Brisbane humor. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I know there's people that were at the Brisbane show that came here, uh, uh, like Carl. <laughs> no. Um, wait. I was I was about to talk about something. I can't remember what. Are you having a good time? Do you like to drink? I'm you? having the best time ever. Okay. Good. All right. Good. Uh, you're important to me. You. <laughs> It's true. No, you're you're a lifeline. You've been a godsend. You're wonderful. Like you're you're a tall, lithe, alabaster-skinned um, <laughs> Prometheus. <laughs> like you've really you really knitted this show together. I really for the for the listeners that can't see, and I, I I don't want to be reductive in any way here. I'm just only I only mean this complimentary. You, you know the I don't know if you got these down here. The uh, the, the Christmas time Rankin and Bass animated like 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 Rudolph. <laughs> and remember when Chris when Santa Claus was young. Young Chris Kingle. When he was young. Oh, and was, right. He was young and thin and had red eyes. He's a fucking image of him. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah he really looks like young, young Santa. All right, but we should, we should. We you're, should. Like, you're like a hot young Santa. <laughs> Thank you. I hear that a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. We should, but we should let him. We should let him relax and, and earn his uh, earn his uh, kettle on the rocks. Uh, uh, I already forgot your name. Can't thank it's you. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Okay, I'm bad with names. Ryan, it's... thank you so much for coming up. Thanks. Everybody, Ryan. Ryan. My pleasure. He's a, a quintessential Australian, is a quintessential modern Australian. Yeah. That's the Australian that will save the United States, like when we are being, we've, we've been taken over by the Soviets. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the Mad Max won't be a tough guy in a car, it'll be a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dropping in on some homemade weather balloon that he made out of rabbit pelts and <laughs> pickle skin. <laughs> pickle skin? Pickle skin? Yeah. Just, I don't know, I, try, I tried to improvise something savage sounding. <laughs> That's it. It's the most wild thing I've encountered in 30 years is pickle skin. <laughs> and the Wikipedia entry for Sydney. There's a lot of spiders here. All right. Hot Canada. All right. So it's uh, expensive here, but it's uh, nonetheless rated one of the 10 most livable cities. Is that right? Don't know what livable means. I don't know what that means. No, this okay. is not funny. This is just true. I had one of the best dinners of my life. I'm vegetarian. Went to Bodhi. That place is fucking good. <laughs> Okay. Oh Good. man, me too. I uh, I left Rockpool because I was disgusted with the place, <laughs> and then I went home and I, I went back to the hotel and I put on Good Burger and I ate a whole box of Cheez-Its. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have Cheez-Its here? <laughs> oh, they're great. You get you get you some. All right. Let's meet another. Let's meet another Australian. That's, that, that 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 it's. I want to tell you in advance, whoever you are, it's okay for you to disappoint us. You can't follow that. <laughs> Just, just commit to being yourself. People, they, that's the sound of people already forgiving you in advance for being a huge letdown. Uh, should we base it on something? As I, I, I would usually just go, go out there, I guess, but, but that's, how, that's how I got, uh, what's his name? Ryan. <laughs> he's, he's the worst person. He really is bad. I just don't have, okay, so the thing is, do you know how like a, a, a baby's brain it runs on glucose. So in your, this is my theory. Now I'm not a doctor. I was not familiar with that. But I think that when you're learning to do things like walk and run and throw a ball and recognize faces and things, I think that your, your brain is going like, oh, this part of the brain is really important. This part is not so much important. I think recognizing names and faces and things just, just my brain just never, I just think I'm like, I just have like a dead spot in my brain. Like I can't, that's my excuse. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just think, uh, I just, uh, like if you, if you ever think, if you think I'm a bad person because he's like, oh, why doesn't he remember me? Why doesn't he remember my name or my face? It's right before you think, what, that guy's an asshole. Then I, that's when I swoop in with a, I was bullied. I think what you're saying is that when God was handing out baby glucose, you were at the back of the line. Yeah, I was like, like what, did it, what did it profit me? Oh, 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 the guy on the left that's giving me a swirly in the toilet? That's Nathan? Oh, great. I'll be sure to ask him about soccer next time. Did you ever actually get a swirly? 
Uh, I think I think my brother probably like read about swirlies and like tried to give me one. Maybe you guys know what a swirly is, right? Yeah, so you, it's when you put someone's head in the toilet and then yeah. flush it. All right. It's also yeah. called drowning somebody. Uh, we call it waterboarding <laughs> these days. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, newsflash: like physically forcing anyone into any position physically is like. Are, are, you, le- are you leaving? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. I'm coming he's, up into the stands. He's, like he's turning to Peter Finch from Network. He's just gonna fall down dead. And... This room is really big. Uh, all right. Well, who? Who? Uh, what? <laughs> this is like. <laughs> welcome to Lazy Donahue. <laughs> uh, hmm. Uh oh. Well, I don't want to do. Uh-oh. Well, I don't. I'm not gonna scan the room visually because then whoever I picked would be like, "What? What do I look fun to you? <laughs> do I look like entertainment to you?" I'm a human being, god damn it. Why are you raising your hand down there, sir? I would like to come up. <laughs> uh, I think that's what they call good old-fashioned Sydney uh, pragmatism. <laughs> they're, they're a pragmatic people here. It's a port town. Yeah, D- Dan walked up all the way to the back, and there was a guy right down front. <laughs> well, I, that's hard to ignore. All right, go on up. Uh... All right. If you're keeping track, there's no women in Sydney. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Kenny. Kenny, everybody. Welcome, Kenny. Right. What's right. up, Kenny? There's Spencer. Grab one of these microphones here. Yeah. Kenny, you're looking very biz cash. I like that. Thank you. Is this on? Yeah, good. All right, Kenny, you're up against a lot, you know? Like, like, like it was bad enough you're following Ryan, but you did it voluntarily. Like, you're like, I'm the guy. But, but like, you can hear, they're like, there's like a kind of a break in the energy, and they're all discussing you. They're going like, I don't know, yeah, looks that tight. I think he might be an Ipswich. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Reddit threads, yeah. 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 I've seen oh, the God, ones about Brisbane. Don't yeah. go, don't go to Reddit. <laughs> don't. I know. <laughs> Go to Reddit to read about anything other than yourself, is my advice. Yeah, well, normally I'm not on Reddit, so it's fine. You are now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're going to be, yeah. I and, will and, regret it. Yeah, the, the, all right, so what's your, your name's Kenny. We already know yeah. that. All right, what, what gives? Um, <laughs> how are you going? Okay, so, I don't know. I guess the reason I wanted to come up, I uh, How to... many worries do you have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven. Um, You're supposed oh. to have no worries. Uh, well, I have, like crippling social anxiety, so it's oh, like... Oh, do you really? Yeah, yeah, it's so like... So you thought, I'll oh, go on stage. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly... That's actually, no, yeah. That's, of, that's why I, I went skydiving, because heights are terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. There you go. Well, that's like where they are, the heights. Yeah. I got married. <laughs> <laughs> it's the good place to you go. You just blew my fucking mind. <laughs> uh... All right, so, you, well, but, but that's literally it. Do you want me to just dig in, or what? I mean, yeah, if you want, but, like, I think one of the other reasons is I, uh, I went to L.A. earlier this year, and I saw one of your shows, and um, I was hoping to do the Who Came From the Furthest, and then I would be like, Australia? And then it didn't happen, but that's fine. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more to the point, you're here now, so, yeah. Yeah, and I came the farthest now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's incredible. That's, that's, why, that's why we have you up on stage, yeah. yeah. But it would have been weird for everybody in the audience to yell out, who came the farthest <laughs> when I came out? Because I'd be like, me, 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 me. <laughs> well, I probably didn't come the farthest tonight, so that's fine. All right. Yeah. Now, you say you have crippling social anxiety. Sure. How does that, like... <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just presume you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's just make that the premise. Uh, like, what is that... Like, how does that manifest in your daily life or... Um, well, I mean, I've gotten better with it since, like, working in retail, um, because you learn to pretend that the people aren't actually people. It, it, it's sort of like, you know, Westworld, they're all just hosts, and they're on their loop, they're just like, they want something, and then you have to have some exchange with them and stuff, and it's, yeah, it's like, I'm pretending, uh, basically it, 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 But if it's Westworld, aren't you the host? Actually, that's pretty apt. I'm in my cycle, yeah, working retail, yeah. 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 Would yeah, you so, like a, a drink? Um, it's probably entertaining to see me heave every time I take a sip, so sure, yeah. I, I don't do well with spirits, but sure, let's go ahead. No, well, let's not kill you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, it's fine, I'll, I'll be right, right. We'll, we'll get you a nice shoe to vomit in, it'll be great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got two here, yeah, yeah. it's fine. You, so don't have, so you, you don't have to drink that. No, 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 <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, I like drinking, it's just that it's the only thing here, so that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, it's not. Uh, Okay. No, okay. 
right. Yeah. He's just saying, what, yeah. you're a beer guy. Yeah, and there's exactly. no beer up here. Yeah, that's, exactly. right. that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Dude, you just, you, you made Jeff leave. He loved, he made, you he offended made me him. To get you a beer. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't see a, what happened. It's, it's, it's beer country. I wouldn't. I wouldn't presume that anybody. I've. I've, I've had to. I, I've had to walk many, many bartenders through making me a Negroni uh, on this trip. I don't know uh, what that is. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's, drink. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's equal parts sweet vermouth, gin, and uh, Campari. So no, it's a yummy uh, daytime beverage. It's. Uh... <laughs> There you go. All right. Um, you've got you've got a Coke, a beer, and a. You got the beer. All right. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> All right. There we go. You don't have to. It's not. A, it's not a competition. <laughs> No, it's Australia. Yeah, All right, that. Kenny. Uh, <laughs> it's not a conversation. It's Australia. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. well, okay. Well, well, wait, 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 tell us more. <laughs> uh, what would you like to know? Oh, social okay. anxiety. Well, I, oh, no, no, social, you don't, you no, don't so have wait, the wait, handshake wait, wait. of a socially anxious person. <laughs> when, when Dan was walking through the crowd looking for somebody, you was like, I, I said, I, you want to come on stage? Is, is, is there something that you feel like you could like gain from this experience, or, like, uh. or it's, just, it's just being up here and, and it, like, letting this weird feeling happen be its, uh, its own reward or I think, punishment? Uh, I realized earlier this year, this is actually after I went to see a show and everything. I was like listening to um, Grandma's Virginity podcast and listening to like. Justin and Ryan talking about writing, and then it suddenly dawned on me that I want to be a fucking writer. So, like, one uh, like physics degree later, and working in retail and everything, I've finally realized what I want to do. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, it's it's sort of like, a, and I realized like having I, I can't count how many times I've marathon community and everything. So I realized that um, after all this time, you're probably the closest thing I have to like an idol sort of thing. Like, they're not it. No, don't don't fucking do that. <laughs> no, it's not. This is not a hero worship thing. This is just like a, I I really they, they, fucking they feel I love bad you for work. you. They're like ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, oh, you really got to I'm used you really to that. expand cool. your horizon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his idol. I, I hear, um, was it Aukerman? I, I Aukerman. Should, I should go for him. Yeah, go for yeah. yeah just between me and Aukerman. <laughs> uh, I'd go, I'd go Aukerman these days. I mean, what sort of physics, uh, like, was there any specialty in that? Or? Oh, I mean, it was only a bachelor's before I realized I didn't fucking want to do it. So, um, <laughs> let's experiment with. with I mean, with you know, when you when you get a physics degree, you end up doing like the whole gamut. You're doing like quantum, astro, all that shit. So, mm. yeah, it's fun. <laughs> See, no, I, 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 I'm into physics. I just have, I have, I have a terrible brain for math. Like, I'm really not a numbers guy, but I right. love, Same. I love shows about physics and about quantum theory and all, all that jazz. But when they start talking about anything that, like, mm. slightly complicated, like, it's just so theoretical <laughs> and abstract. Don't, don't let. <laughs> <laughs> For the listeners, uh, Dan is writing a live uh, a screenplay about right. Kenny yeah, right now. Say, keep, keep, keep talking to him. Just keep yeah, him talking, well, yeah. Jeff. You, I was just, say you and I are going to talk right the, now. Um, all the watching the documentaries and stuff uh, from first-hand oh, Kenny, experience. Kenny, what's your, what's your last name? McDonald. <laughs> McDonald, okay. <laughs> With an A or just MC? Uh, MC. Yeah, oh, nice. First guy. I mean, there's only two options, so it's not that impressive, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Dan, do I read any of this for the podcast or no? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know. Like, 
this is just gonna this is gonna make people have to subscribe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're not even shooting it, are we shooting? Maybe we can edit it out of the audio part. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, well, let's keep talking. So, like, so oh, well, I, well, what I was gonna say before is like with the watching documentaries and stuff and liking physics documentaries. Don't let that trick you into getting a degree in physics because you won't enjoy it. Right. First-hand experience. See, like, I... <laughs> I got, uh, I got very, very lucky. I, I met, uh, you know, Professor Brian Cox, you know, the, the very charming English yeah, uh, physicist like from, from uh, CERN? Your long lost cousin or something? Yeah, the, the yeah. wonders of the universe. So I don't you look think, similar. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, like, like really. <laughs> <laughs> He, uh, he, he invited me to come out and go look at the Large Hadron Collider, which would be fun. Shit. But I don't know what it is. I, 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 they, I don't know how magnetism works. <laughs> Dan, for, for the listeners, Dan is writing a very culturally sensitive, not hack script right now. <laughs> That's me, Kenny <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I guess I kind of screwed this does up. Does that like, imply that I? Guess I you don't start that VO like the person is born, then you can't. Does, like, that, does that imply that I wasn't a baby, but I am now? Is this like Benjamin no, Button? God, oh, Kenny, right. No, God, no. I would never. I wouldn't what, do that. How, no. What else? What else could it possibly be implying? No, I. It, it, that I'm a bad writer. I did a bad. I, I already painted myself into a corner. I structurally, I, the, the, this type of voiceover doesn't work if the person's being born. No, you know? it works. It works. But, no, but, no. It's, it, it's, I bet it, you're wondering how I got here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, nine it's, months but, earlier. No, no one's wondering how you got. There, how you got there was the, the sperm. Uh, yeah, cut yeah. to cut to some uh, old McDonald's testicle. Yeah. I, I like I like to think that I was like like you know what's the word like Jesus? Um, yeah, Jesus. Immaculate. Divine, uh, immaculate. Immaculate conception. My yeah. parents never had sex. That's fine. No, but why right. can't why can't you say like like, uh, like like it's him being born and then you're like it's thirty well, year old. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what they say in those cases, but I wouldn't <laughs> always be a baby. <laughs> People know that, though. <laughs> All right, so Kenny, so you, you, mm -hmm. you, you got your degree in physics. Yeah, Which yeah. sounds arduous, it sounds difficult. Uh, yeah. And then you said, I don't want to be in physics? Like, yeah. Would, like, were you, did, in your dream, did you want to be like a theoretical well, particle physicist? Or no, uh, like, I think, um, I, I don't know. I think part of like my like getting a science degree is kind of to shut people up when, when I'm doing something else that I want to do. Um, so people can say, what are you doing with your life? I'm like, I have a degree. <laughs> but that seems like a waste of 40 grand, so I don't know. Um. <laughs> All of my friends that have made it uh, have one thing in common. None of uh, any of us, and, and them, because I'm, I'm including like way more successful friends of mine, uh, none of them has a degree. That's because they're smarter than me, and that's why they're successful. But like, I, I went to, I went to uh, the University of Southern California, and I... <laughs> no, it will tend to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless acted well, upon by an outside force. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Professor, yeah. <laughs> okay, are, are, are we going to get some uh, Newtonian punchlines going on? Uh, <laughs> oh, professional, yeah. Uh -huh. Like, I, I, I went to school, I, I started as a business major, I suck at, I suck at math. Uh, and then I went into journalism because there was no math requirement. But then by the end, I said, like, I don't want the degree. I just sneaked into classes that I wasn't allowed to be in. And just like, if, if I'm going to go to school for free because I was poor and had like, you know, financial aid and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they they charge the... you to take the tests, not the, yeah, and I, get the paper at the end. I, I, I would just sneak into cool like history classes and things that were like, they try to take advantage of. I thought the degree would be pretty meaningless. But so now like you want to, you want to be a film writer, TV writer? Novelists? Um, TV. Short stories? TV. TV. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, I realized that throughout my life, the thing that's probably been said to me the most is, like, get off the fucking TV or, like, stop watching TV or some shit like that. So it's like, what do I love? I love TV. Do you think that when the movie that Dan is writing is made that Adam Scott's going to play you? 
<laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. You look, you look, does it look a little, little, little bit like Adam Scott? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe just the angle. Okay. Uh, so, oh, wow. this, <laughs> nope. I don't know who that is. <laughs> should we? Should we? Pro should we perform this later on? Then? <laughs> I, I, yeah, we can perform it. <laughs> I think we should we put this on as a little one-act play later on. All right. So now, what's? Have you tried writing? Are, are you working on stuff? Yeah, like I've, like I'm, like. On the plotting stage of many things, and then I finished an actual like um, it was attempted to be a, like a, a pilot episode, but it turned out more like a short film um, comedy sort of thing. But um, yeah, no, I'm I'm writing when I have time and is, enjoying. Is there a, I, I don't know, like I know a lot of actors that are from here and, and work in acting here, but is there a big like TV writing mm, thing? Like mm, like all of our TV is kind of shit, especially the comedy. Uh, I don't know, like I. <laughs> Oh man, I was listening. I was watching okay, Australian. Sorry, sorry. I was sorry. watching comedy. Australian I hate Food Network. Comedy. Okay, I'll let you talk. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's fine. Sorry, what was? Sorry. I was watching Australian Food Network. Holy shit! Everyone just wanted to talk on in front of the camera. There was like four cooks, and they're like, "Now I'm making marzipan. Well, I'm cooking up grapes." Yeah, I, uh, and it's just like everyone's talking over each other, and I'm like, I don't know how much butter you're using. <laughs> I don't think they know either, but yeah, no, they, you know, that stuff's great, but, uh, you Oh, know. I love Food Network. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. It's the network for the food, and... Now, uh, now you go. What were you going to say before I, I so rudely cut I, you I'm off? I'm not paying attention to myself 90% of the time, so... Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. How is your social anxiety doing right now? Is, 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 is the heart beating fast, or are you, are you, are you, are you settling I, in? I dealt pretty well with the boo, so I think I'm doing all right, so... <laughs> oh, now, no. now that I've heard a lot. Uh, uh, that's fine. That's, that's his father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've written myself into a corner here. I got the <laughs> professor just. Right. Uh, does this. I, I haven't been reading, Dan. Where are we at? Like, keep. Uh, can you put me up to date? The uh, physics professor made a fireball by lighting his pipe or something, <laughs> cleaning yeah. his pipe. My bad. Yeah, he just is cleaning his pipe when his pipe bursts into flame, and then Kenny's climbing to his feet, and then he'll say. Uh, professor, take me away from here. <laughs> is this a, is this a ma magical reality kind of thing? Like... With pleasure. Uh oh. Professor holds out his e hand. Enter Jason Ortega. <laughs> oh, I know how to get out of this. I know how to do this. You want another? I've seen this done before. Another. Kenny yeah, yeah, starts yeah. to oh, reach for the hand, then recoils. Uh, the, oops, shit, sorry. The professor's <laughs> hand is a robot hand. <laughs> Cut to Kenny's bedroom. Uh, real world, Kenny bolts up. Uh, screaming. Uh, uh, it was the, the audience is crying. <laughs> Cop out. <laughs> Sits up next to him, do a little undercut. Baking soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is getting kind of slashy. <laughs> Dan, right now, who, who, do you, who are you casting as a... Who, who, what actor is the professor in your mind right now? Uh, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's at professor age now, isn't he? He's, he's got gray hair and everything. You need to put him pouting in one of the action lines. <laughs> I should put what in the action lines? You, you need to put him pouting. I put what? His what? little pout. Like, a little, a little the, pout? The, the pout you love. The pa oh, the Ruffalo pound. Yeah, yeah, sure, okay. All right. Yeah, we call him yeah. Ruffalo over here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big difference culturally, but it's fine. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Did you guys see Mark? Ru Do you follow him on Instagram? He had a. <laughs> He was so no. excited about something that happened with the thing that I should know about because I'm a good person with the, the gas line thing or whatever. He was like, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to the Army Corps of Engineers. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just wanted to kiss him the whole time. Was like, <laughs> he was so happy. I was just like, what, what, what do you have to do to make Mark Ruffalo happy? Because like, 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 I want to do it all the time. Just want just to just bring him breakfast and see him get happy. And... Right. So you right. a comedy guy? Are you gonna write comedies or dramas? What do you got? I'll try. Yeah, uh, comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, this is this is gonna be audio is really gonna be jarring when people listen to this. It's gonna yeah. be like dull comedy. Yeah, no, it's, it's enormous laughter. <laughs> yeah, I almost think we'll just have to edit out almost your whole. Yeah, that's that's, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Otherwise, I, I, this was an experiment. I thought, like, oh, let's have Jeff talk to somebody and then I'll write a script about them. But it's like, yeah, it's keep, a visual keep, thing. Keep the part where they boom me. We're, we're having just fine. a regular conversation and then giant laughs are happening because yeah. you're, making, <laughs> well, you're, make, you're making Mark Ruffalo fuck Adam Scott over, over behind our shoulders. <laughs> let's do this. Like, well, we're at, this, this, that's as good an ending as any. Fade, fade out. <laughs> Got it. Okay. But. Is there, is there anything, you're, you're an aspiring writer, Kenny, like, is there anything you can think of, not to put you on the spot, is there anything I could, like, show you, or help, you know, like, something that, or, like, I don't know, some people, Zip. not, how do I get a job, <laughs> anything other than, like, 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 creatively, what can I impart to you, what do you always wonder about, Dan, um, where do you get it, how does it happen? <laughs> how do you keep your hair so soft and manageable? <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't know if you want a real answer, I guess, like, you know, coming up with a concept for a comedy TV show to be running over, like, multiple seasons, it always feels so, like, like, coming up with a concept that doesn't feel so trite and hacky, like, ah. you know, like, <laughs> like, like, no, community I, yeah. is something so, like, open to the idea of, like, people coming together and having, like, real human experiences masked by all this, like, farcical shit going on in front well, of Well, that's it. the but only thing. You get, you, it, it, yeah, there's no such thing as a good idea or a bad idea. It doesn't matter. Like, like, like the, the point of TV is not to be original. The point of TV is to, is to placate, is to, is to give people comfort. You know, it's like tater tots. You don't want to, like, reinvent the tater tot. Do you guys have tater tots? I, we call them potato gems, but that's fine. Okay. That's, that's... I, I, I'm accidentally saying something horribly racist, but I say tater tots. <laughs> Yes, we have tater tots. My mother's one. <laughs> They're called Argentinians. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, but, 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 you know, it's like community is like, it's a, it's a hack idea. I remember people make fun of it because the, the, all people knew was the log line of the idea. I remember all the press was like, oh, there's a new NBC show. Joel McHale plays a guy that goes back to college because he lost his thing. And everybody was like, what, did Seinfeld write this in his show? Like, it's like a bad idea. I was like, yeah, it's dumb. Like, like it's silly. But so is uh, people in a spaceship going out to boldly go where no one's gone before. That's a terrible idea. So what, what, what do you mean you're going to boldly go? What are you talking about? <laughs> Going? What are you gonna? What are you? How do you know when you're finished? But the idea, <laughs> the the idea is to get people. Well, for at least for, I mean, this isn't the only job TV has, but the idea is to get people in. Oh, it's 9/11. Uh, yeah, it's 9/11. Good job. <laughs> Bless you, sir. <laughs> the town crier. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's 9 11 and I like that hat, mate. <laughs> I dislike them towers coming down, mate. <laughs> he said dislike, he dislikes it. Oh, I, I just like it. Oh, no, not just like, no. No, no. Who would like it? It's the that? only thing he likes. <laughs> I just like this. After 9 uh, 11, life was like null and void for him. It was all downhill from there. But, uh, you know, like, like it's, uh, yeah, no, you just. You know how it's you know how when it's raining, uh, yep. like people are in a weirder. Yeah. <laughs> Happens occasionally, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like like if it starts to really come down, like everybody who's anywhere, they all have to get out of the rain. So then it's like oh, then every once in a while, like it's raining and you're stuck with a bunch of people like that you don't know, okay. and you're like, huh, it's raining. 
<laughs> and, but it's like a person you'd never talk to. But it's like, and they're like, Jesus Christ, yeah, it fucking rained. It started coming out of nowhere. It was crazy. It was dry and then it was wet. <laughs> and it's like, this would never have happened. And it's like, that person might look like a ranger. Or they, 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 <laughs> Uh, they, they, they're, they're from some different walk of life. They might be uh, liberal with a big L and you're liberal with a small L, meaning you're like both sides of the political spectrum. <laughs> you're, you're labor and they're, they're capital L liberal. Or they, and they're like, like, or, or, yeah, and, and you're different ages or you're different genders and there's at least 50 known genders. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the rain made something happen. The rain is the idea. That's just it. The rain could be, oh, it's the future and so everybody's in a starship and they have to go do stuff. That's a contrivance. Rain is a contrivance. God, you know, it's like, oh, God, the God happened. Like, you can have one coincidence in your story. As your, for, this is for TV writing. You just go like, oh, what's something stupid that made a bunch of people have to be together? Kind of forever. Like, like mostly forever, for 100 episodes or so. Also, this is really old-fashioned advice, because TV now is like, like, de 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 like, like I'm talking about like 80s-style craftsmanship, and like TV now is like, oh, just take a shitty 90-minute direct-to-video movie, break it up into 10 chapters, and release them one at a time. <laughs> This, this TV series is called Cobra Man. <laughs> Episode one, man. <laughs> Episode two, man at a Cobra store. <laughs> Episode three, all at the Cobra store ain't what it seems. <laughs> Episode four, Cobra escape. <laughs> Episode five, mixed blessings. <laughs> Episode six, a most unusual power. <laughs> Episode seven, Cobra Man! <laughs> Episode eight, Shark Jumped. <laughs> Episode nine, cl b Bat Cleanup. Episode 10, Clip Show. Uh, <laughs> The, but 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 uh, yeah, I mean it's serialized now, and that's a whole different discipline. I don't really understand that. I figure if I tell a serialized story, I'll write a movie. I mean, no one wants me to write a movie. But like, I just I want you to write, want a, you to write a movie. I want I'm gonna write a movie. Okay. Yeah. All right. It'll be great. Yeah. You, you, you gotta write. All right. You gotta write fucking Cobra Man. I'm gonna write Cobra Man. But uh, in my opinion, TV is supposed to be like crack. It's like uh, each rock is an individual rock. Like, you should be able to grab any rock in any order, and it would get you high, and you'll want to smoke all the crack rocks. <laughs> and you'll even, if, you, if you're then told they come in a certain order, you'll go like, yeah, I'm a crackhead, I'll, I'll meet you. Like, sure, if there's a number one on one of the crack rocks. If it rolls under the couch and there's only two, five, and seven, I'm still gonna smoke the crack. <laughs> I, like, like, I don't owe it to the fucking crack to consume it in a certain order, and the crack ought to meet me halfway as a crackhead. It's the least the crack can do to not fuck with me. And so I'm like, what the hell? Why is J Jillian Anderson, where did she go? What, is this is her dream now? I, but I love The Fall. Have you seen The Fall? No. Oh, so good. See, that's serial. That was a great message for the so kids. Uh, that, that's, that's, I'm glad Ryan was here to hear that so he could pass that along to the children. Oh, the fu the the look at the, the crack metaphor. <laughs> yeah, but like like a good a good sitcom, a good TV show is a, in my opinion, is a necklace made of crack rocks because it's like, you you provide the order, you provide, and maybe you do put a big honking rock right in the middle, and you say like smoke from left to right as you would, <laughs> but there's a string connecting all of them. You can wear it. You can tell your friends about it at a party. They go, hey, what's what's that you got around your neck? It's a crack necklace. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I smoke, I smoke this one, I smoke that one. Oh, uh, crack's not for me. No, that's, that's other people's crack. Let me tell you about this. This is, this is Rick and Morty crack. This is great. Uh, so uh, anyway, so there's no such thing as a bad idea. The, the worst kind of idea that you could have is, is the thing where you start thinking like, uh, 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 like oh, this sounds like TV. This will make a good TV show. That's, you're going to do that by default because you love TV. You want to write good TV. You're going to always second guess yourself and be like, like, like you're going to always be filtering things through like, oh, and then it would be like a TV show if I did it like this. The, the, the way that you make good stuff is by restraining that. You have to like force your TV loving structure craving, self-loathing, nothing inside my head deserves to be on television brain. You have to force it, actively force it, 
for to, into the non-televisable realm. Go like, what is the memory that I have that is so fucked up it cannot be, it, it doesn't go near, it's too boring, or it's too uh, pornographic, or it's too bloody, or it's too sad. Uh, it's a, like, like, where it's just too like, 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 personal to me, it doesn't make that much sense, and try as hard as you can to not let that get filtered through that, that other part of your brain, which everyone has anyway. That's the unremarkable part of your brain that like turns it into Gilligan's Island, like, like, <laughs> which is a great show. The, 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 but the person that created Gilligan's Island wasn't like, I'm gonna try to make a show like Gilligan's Island. Like that was a like weird byproduct of them. I don't, who knows what they were thinking. Oh, Sherwood sure, sure Schwartz, right? Like his thing was like, he, he made TV. He's like, I'm gonna make sure that people will really have to watch. Like, like, like he, he would do anything. He didn't care about the rules at all. Like, there have been many, many attempts since Gilligan's Island to make shows about a group of people stranded on a desert island. <coughs> <laughs> and they have all sucked. <laughs> <coughs> this is the part where Dan dies, and it's very sad. <coughs> then, I it, talked while I was drinking and went down the rug pipe. <laughs> and as you get older, there's another thing. Really, I can tell you. <laughs> Kenny, <coughs> as you get older, especially if you drink uh, a fifth of vodka a day, <laughs> your uh, esophagus flap will start to degrade like a uh, toilet flap. <laughs> you know how you have to replace the toilet flap every once in a while? You go to the hardware store? Maybe, yeah. maybe your parents did yeah. you do this, but... Millennial, so... There's like a little rubber flap in the toilet that keeps the... That you have a flesh one in here, but mm. you can't replace it. <clears throat> it just melts. Well, you, you said you, you've... <laughs> You, you've, you've eroded your epiglottis yeah, like or whatever? I noticed as I after I turned 40, I was like, one day I was in a movie theater and I was like eating popcorn while going, those Muppets are funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, it's, this is a hypothetical scenario, believe me. D Dan but, hates the Muppets. But I inhaled, uh, the, the Muppets hate the Muppets, man. <laughs> Jim Henson loved the Muppets and he's dead. The, the, the Muppets killed Jim Henson? No, I'm saying you can't keep doing... If you can't make phones after Steve Jobs dies and make them right, you can't make no Muppets. <coughs> Are you, you at the Heimlich? What's going on over there? I got droplets of vodka, went down my breathing tube. Well, just like, like absorb them. You he... absorb them. <laughs> he, he just drank more vodka, he's gonna wash it down. <laughs> this guy doesn't fucking learn. <coughs> well, what's gonna work, water? Hugs? Hugs. The Heimlich, we'll is just like, the Heimlich maneuver is just a one big hug. Well, it's a, it's a series of very strong hugs. It's just, anyways, so then I inhaled popcorn. And I, I you have to chew very carefully now. There's an episode of the podcast where the, I almost The rest died. of the show is going to be Dan, Dan sounding like drunk Nick Nolte. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, what, else, what other advice can I give you? Um, uh, uh, you know, you're, I mean, you're, you're talking about, yeah, you, you, you actually, is it a physical thing or is that you just being hypochondri hypochondriacal? Uh, <laughs> Steve Levy. Levy. Can we give it up for Steve Levy, everybody? <laughs> Steve, Steve Levy, he's Dan's, uh, like, you know, he's, what's, uh, he's, what's Batman's butler's guy? Fucking Alfred. Alfred. He's Alfred. But this guy goes to the gym like every, like, every 45 minutes. <laughs> This guy's got like, he's got abs on his face. <laughs> this is Steve Levy's laptop. We should reward him by going through his photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Please what find something. What are the Olsen twins doing on here? Please find you don't something know them. awful. No, I wait, want to find Steve, something. Would there be anything we would find in your photo roll that would be embarrassing? Well, you just scrolled past a, what do you call it, a story circle. So it's definitely, there could definitely be trade secrets. Oh, there could definitely be like a, like a, like a, like a, like a Dr. Strange treatment or something. Yeah. <laughs> it, could, right. he, he, it could be Cobra Man. <laughs> we find out that you're stealing that from him. We were doing a show in the States. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I had the laptop out, and then I clicked on a thing, and there was, a, like, a file name that a huge Doctor Strange fan recognized as a character from that universe, went to the... That, that's how it leaked. Then I did no work on Doctor Strange at all. Otherwise, I would have been credited. I didn't do... I didn't help them at all. I went in there and was like, Doctor Strange is neat. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Uh, 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 Kenny. Give him, um, your, give him your three... Your three rules... Your three nevers or your three alwayses for a writer. All right. You prove that you suck, mm -hmm. 
right? Done. Because you because you're worried about that. So if you if you if you sit and you try to prove that you're good, what mm -hmm. will you write? You'll write nothing. Mm -hmm. If you try to prove that you'll suck, what will you write? You'll write everything. You're like you'll write the first thing off the top of your head. Poopy doo. <laughs> I wrote something. I wrote a thousand percent more than the guy whose goal was to write something good. Just that. It's it's a it's a dramatic rendition of Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's set in uh, in, in post-war Czechoslovakia. <laughs> uh, it's about a dog who. Uh, no, sorry. Right from start I to finish. I want to know going. Kenny. Yes. Right. <laughs> right from right from start to finish. Right in in passes. So you go uh, fade in interior poopy doo's <laughs> house. Poopy doo is making tea. A wizard steals it. Poopy do chases him. <laughs> Don't now start at the top and go. Poopy do is making chamomile. Tea. <laughs> A wizard carefully steals it. <laughs> Poopy do chases him on a razor scooter. <laughs> the, these changes are not going to help you. You just made it better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. But guess what happens? It's, then you cut to... You got a hit. Exterior streets of San Francisco. <laughs> the, the, the There's uh, an elaborate chase. Poopy do <laughs> hits the wizard with a car. He picks up his stolen tea and looks at the camera poopy do that's a wrap <laughs> tea style and then and you fade out so i finished my draft now now i can go back and change the tea and all this stuff if i do that after i finish the first scene then I go to the second scene, and it's like I realize, oh, streets of San Francisco. Wait, I should, I like th this sucks. I should fade in on San Francisco. This whole scene's gonna get cut or changed so dramatically. All of my thought about what kind of tea it should be and how the wizard steals it is gonna. All of that time is just gonna be wasted, basically. So it's like you, you, you even though it's totally counterintuitive because you're a perfectionist, you want to always, when you sit down to your document, your work in progress, you want to, and I always do it, do as I say, not as I do. I never followed this fucking advice in my goddamn life. <laughs> start at the, don't start at the top of the document Did Dan, er, er, Erase the interior of Poopy Doo's house and, and to the, the cut to it. So just fade in and then the first thing we see is ex, uh, exterior street to San Francisco. Well, this is my, this yeah. is, now we're on to how to receive notes. <laughs> so you're gonna be you're gonna be collaborating. You're gonna be developing. Can it be, can it be Atlanta? We get so many tax breaks if we shoot in Atlanta. <laughs> what, wait, what are you talking? What are you talking? What are you no, saying? I'm saying like, if, if you start there, fade in. Street to San Francisco. There's an elaborate chase. Oh yeah. Poopy do it's a wizard. Yeah. Wizard. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, the, that's a fucking good. That, that's a cold open. Par excellence. Yes. And you might, and, and hey, you might be one of these people. You go like, uh, you know, it's a uh, cut to, you know, title three weeks earlier. <laughs> and then you fucking even get to use this scene. You just move it down to here. See if I can, there you go. Yeah. Fade end on a cut to. Fade end straight to, yeah. Title three weeks earlier. Oh shit, man! This fucking thing. This just became uh, uh, John Wick. <laughs> this shit is hot now. This is like on the blacklist. <laughs> Woo. Uh, anyways, uh, the the the. So yeah. Okay. So prove that you suck. Write a shitty draft. Write it all the way through before you start second guessing it because you'll make discoveries along the way. And I guess the third thing is like. Uh, Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, I thought there was a. Sorry. Don't do that. I thought there was like a huntsman behind me. Uh, Dan, don't move. <laughs> don't move. Don't look up. No, come on. I don't wanna. Don't. It's not funny, is it? <laughs> Um, the, 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 what is the third thing? Uh, you know, Wait, that, that, that I whole mean, right, what you know thing. kind of works. Like, it's like, it's like, yeah, like, don't, like, you, you don't separate yourself from what 
is, is going on. If you're working in advertising and somebody's saying, I want you to write me the best Pepsi commercial in the world, like, and you happen to be going through a, a divorce or a custody battle with children, like, and that's all you can think about is like how much it hurts to like lose, be talking about something as if it's a commodity, even though it's your child and you feel you hate yourself or you're vigilant against injustice. You gotta put that into your Pepsi commercial or you're a bad Pepsi commercial writer and no one's gonna buy Pepsi <laughs> from your commercial. Like, you, 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 or you, should, you gotta go, you gotta tell Pepsi, I, I can't write this commercial right now. It's all an autobiography, it's all meta, it's all personal, write what you know, that's what that means. It doesn't mean, oh, you know what people are really interested in is your life as an oceanographer. They don't give a fuck, but they, do, they, they want to feel sincere writing. They want you to, they, they don't want, they, they, could, they could, if they wanted to read something by somebody who was trying to make a TV show, they could write their own shit and do it. They'd be like, fade in on some fucking asshole trying to write a script. <laughs> Like, like they, 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 they're, they're counting on you to, to lower that compartment between R uh, Kenny the physicist and Kenny the writer, not for you, for you to stop being a physicist and start being a writer. This shit is dumb, like illiterates can buy Final Draft and write, use the software. You need to be like, and write a shitty draft and just be like, fade in and fucking, what physics fucking bug, bumming me out? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe your voice will be different, but, but, but. Uh, <laughs> Surprisingly it's, not. There's something, there's something, when you get really honest with yourself, there's something about your life that you've, you, where you've come from, like, like that, that it's just your map of the cosmos. Don't, you're not trying to like tell other people what to think or, or, or prove that you're interesting or cool or that, or, that you, or that you like them or that they should like you. Like pretend your goal is some alien came down and put a laser gun to your head and said, you have to show me in the next day with a document like how you saw the world, period. Like, like, or I'm gonna blow your brains out with this alien gun. It's gonna hurt extra bad. It's not gonna be a painless death. That's surprisingly common theme in my dreams. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> the the yeah. Just you just your goal is to like is to just is to just say I was here. This is what this is what happened to me. The more brutally honest you are, the more you'll get close to being like Woody Allen, Lena Dunham, or something. Like they don't they don't moralize. They 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 they're narcissistic and they they, they look at their shit, and they, this is what I had for breakfast, and then this is who I slept with, and this is what I thought as I was sleeping with them, and, 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 and these people are geniuses when they do it, right? That's, that's really like one of the things I really loved about Great Minds, like, I, like you going through what you were at the, mo at the time that that was being done. Uh, you could see all of that pouring out, and maybe like random people on YouTube just stumbling across it might not, but people who are religious, like Harmontown listeners, will know like some of the little like ticks you have and all the little things you mention. Like that's all callbacks to things about yourself that you're like being honest about, and I think that's what people really love about your writing. Like yeah. you just come through. It's, yeah, it's my <laughs> it's my little yeah. bag of tricks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, and it can be yours too because it'll be different when you do it. Like like yeah, just reaching right. into as, your as, own. As a friend shit. of ours, uh, Sam Christen Sam Christensen said, uh, as an awesome mentor. Uh, from he said, remember my name and stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> as, as our old friend Sam Christ, 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 Christ said, <laughs> he's, he's, he said, listen, I want you to do two things. Never forget my name. And please, for the love of God, will you have a cup of coffee? <laughs> Fucking Flat white. Judas. <laughs> Yeah. That's that's high roading from the low road. I know. I know. <laughs> As he puts his face into the ice bucket. <laughs> no, so like, uh, we, we all pay a huge price tag for where we are. Like 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 life comes with a price, and then as as artists, we get to cash in on that like that our job is to show the world like how how like what what we went through to make us us. You know, like, like that's that that's the beauty of art. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I tried as hard as I could to not be distracting, and, <laughs> and it was funny because it was like, it's, uh, there's no, have you ever tried to put ice in a glass? Well, we, we, we have to end the we show in a couple yes. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. What so, really? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. yeah. I'm proud we, of us. We, we have a we, we have a hard out in like three minutes. So oh like, shit. Yeah. Oh man, what was this Spalding Gray shit? <laughs> I, I thought it was very valuable. Okay, good. I, so much so that I apparently got a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you poured him a vodka and I drank it because I'm, I'm a conservationist. 
I which is another word for it. alcohol. I was just connecting dots for logical humor. <laughs> Kenny, how do you think the show went? Um, yeah, I how mean, much did the tickets cost? Fuck, I don't know. I so that was a non-committal answer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it went pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it went great until the part where I came up, and that's just my thing. Like, right, so you wanted myself. that to happen. Sure, yes, yes. I, I brought that upon myself and all of you, so that's fine. I feel like this was like episode like five or six of Cobra Men. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, we had no women up here. We oh, don't know, yeah. if somebody's watching the show, they don't know that women exist in Sydney. <laughs> but, you know. Get the, you get two women on tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll get two women on tomorrow night. I'll just dress up. <laughs> I'll wear a dress. Pretend. We'll make it ladies' night tomorrow night, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll enforce dichotomy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll make people understand so there's a difference been, between you. It's been you're... a few minutes since we said we have to end the show in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, well, is it me or... I mean, look, 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 rapping is the hardest work I do. Yes! I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Now, Jen, here... To increase the danger of this, my iPad is at 3%, so we have to fucking get this right. right. <laughs> we have to get this right. <laughs> He's got his crocodile dendy hat on. Wait a minute. This isn't a mic. Wait, uh, Sp Spencer, can I get your beat? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, that, that was a mic. Okay. That was a mic. <laughs> All right. So, uh, to, to save the day here, Spencer's gonna get, uh, we're pulling a beat off of Spencer's a uh, deep bag of beats. <laughs> bag All of right. beats. Dan's already getting the kicky baby dance going. <laughs> Woo! Uh. Oi. Energizer. Struth. True blue. Fair dinkum. But make it real, because we, we went to a dark place there. Like, yeah. prove, prove what you just told yeah. Kenny right now. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Do, I'll do notes yeah. after. Yeah. Give it to him, yeah. Man. yeah, Australia, T R R A L I A, Australia. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, it's an island that's filled with philalia. What? Fuck. All right, S starting over, starting over. All right, I thought I thought I could make up a word. All right, all right, okay. Whew. Walk it off. Walk it off. What are you? Okay. Paraphernalia. <laughs> Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Genitalia. Gen on, okay. All right. Everybody's better than me. Yeah. 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 Down under. Only rhymes with thunder. We've been over that. I'm not trying to blunder through my rap. I'm done with that crap. I'm gonna flow from the soul and do it like that, like this, and like that over there. I fucked your mama so hard, I ruined her hair. She had to get it cut the next day. She did a thing with layers and the bangs were okay. <laughs> then she wore some rim glasses. All glasses have rims, sorry. <laughs> Cap, not, the, not the capital. <laughs> what is the capital? Cameron. Cameron. Cameron, the capital of Australia. Sydney, a land of a thousand people. Don't worry about the steeple. Give me a second, give me a second. Yeah, there's only a thousand people in Sydney. It's the land of 1,000 people. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Give me a second. All right. Work it out. Yeah. 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 Go. Here's the planet, and here's seven continents. And here's the little one down here that I must defend. It's a big ball of people. It's such a good place. Why would, why would I use the word people again? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Country to country, each country has the most, but there's only one country that's made entirely of coast. <laughs> it's the opposite of landlocked. That means it's the opposite.
citizen of Germany. That means we don't have to worry about them invading me. <laughs> Ever. In the future. They're good people down here. The doctors have sutures. They stitch you up and send you on your way. I fucked your mama so hard her curds turned away. <laughs> Little Miss Muppet. Dangerous poisonous spiders. I'm not I'm done with it. I don't want to see nothing with eight legs. I fucked your mama so hard she had to beg for more. She said, give me some vitamin D to the A to the N. You know that's what I need. To the H to the A-R-M-O-N. I fucked your mama twice. Fucked her again. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. All right. Sorry if you're, if you're a, a woman or a mother. Thank you, Sydney Opera House. Oh, no, no. Thank you, Sydney Opera House. We're doing another show tomorrow night. So we love you. Come on. Let's hear it for Kenny, Kenny, everybody. Ryan. Ryan the Rainer. Spencer Crittenden. I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Your mayor, of course, is Dan Harmon. Let's all go to a bar together and continue this, shall we? Drive fast, take chances, we love you. House music. Jeff Davis, everybody.